up everybody what's going on let me just do a quick uh check-in everybody hear me good you should hear me good i hope do a little um a little uh, quick live here tell you some things i got going on plus i wanted to show you a video kit clip uh yeah thank you i wanted to show y'all a little video clip of something uh team spider sent me about an accident i said you know what i gotta share this just so that um just so that the people are out there and uh you know understand the importance of staying safe on their bike every time i see something like this i always want to bring it up to just keep that safety issue in mind shout out to my man luchi team spider ny who sent me this clip of this video of this motorcycle accident uh he's checking in on ig you know i'm always on youtube my brother so uh shout out to him for sending me this video clip so i could talk to you guys about it shout out to everybody on ig that's checking in if you want to shoot over to the youtube i got a few things i want to talk about i got a contest coming up and all types of cool stuff let's get into the guests i noticed you guys noticed um my Riker family uh boards up here so that's for all the people who are channel members from now on you will be on the board so this chalkboards i have up here will show my Riker family members and i will display them and rep you guys for supporting me and supporting my channel shout out to everybody on ig let's do a check and see who's on the youtube live right now barbecue j join me and rambo savage join me on ig thank you fellas Heather, of course. Casper, what's up? Pete, thank you for checking in. Tempe, of course, thank you. Destelios, thank you, thank you. Sask, I know you from Saskatchewan, Canada. Waldo, all right, what's up? John Cherokee, what's up? Hey, flipping out with Doc. I haven't heard from you in a while, man. Hope everything's good. What's up, man? How's it going over there? So, yeah, everybody. So, what I'm going to put up here is what you guys see if you're checking in now. Uh, everybody on the board. This is all the people who are channel members. Just to give you a quick rundown of my channel membership. 99 cent. A month put you on the board for the live video, so you be out here on the board. Ninety nine cent. Uh, that's twelve dollars a year to get your name up on the live stream. Dollar ninety nine, same thing. Get your names on the live stream, but you also get a discount on merch after you're a good standing member. And the top membership is nine ninety nine. That gets you on the live streams. To clock in and all the other stuff if you want to join there's a join button below and i appreciate that and just like that shah 718 is a youtube channel member clap them in clap them in thank you for joining thank you for joining the channel membership you will be on the board on the next live show which will be coming up pretty soon uh appreciate that shah 718 bk thank you uh let's see let's see who else we got i want to give everybody there uh real mccoy on three what's up man thank you for checking in brian p from maine hey what's up all right kevin right around is south carolina raymond what's up what we got else here here that's this who's this ed what's up hello right hand spider eyes from south georgia miriam what's up thank you for checking in hey like i said every time you guys check in if you're new to the live or you just uh put out put out where you're from where you ride because a lot of people wind up meeting a lot of people here on these live shows so just Put a shout out of where you're riding so that other people could see that they got people out there uh they got people out there riding in their neighborhoods you'd be surprised clap them in casper the ghost just joined the channel thank you you too will get your name up on the board here 
clap them in, clap them in, new channel member. I appreciate that. And let me tell you something. This, the 99 cent supports the channel 100%. Like, you know, understand, like, you know, you don't make a lot of money on YouTube. So all this stuff comes out of mostly my pocket. I mean, YouTube helps, but all this cool stuff, like the prizes, the giveaways, all that gets eaten up. So when you guys become channel members, that little bit helps. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, it helps a lot. And YouTube takes their cut. So it is what it is. Yo, everybody that's on uh, IG right now, thank you for checking in. We are on YouTube Live. If you want to check in on YouTube Live and get into the whole conversation, we're about to do a little um, a little more talk about safety, motorcycle safety. I'm going to show you this little video clip I got on. But um, definitely... Definitely. Daniel, what's up, man? How are you, man? How's everything? Thank you for checking in once again. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Everybody checking in where they at. Team Spider, like I said, Team Spider. This this video I'm about to play is courtesy of Team Spider. Uh, they sent me this little video clip, so I figured I would have to go and show you guys about this accident, about safety, and we're going to talk. Uh, Miriam. Oh, okay. I'll tell you right now. Uh, all everybody who won something from the last stream from Riker Riders, all your information that you gave me was forwarded to Riker Riders. So, everybody who won a prize directly from me, which was from RLS or one of my t shirts, you should have got your stuff. Anybody who won a shirt from Team Spider. They sent out their stuff, and anybody won from Philly Riker Boys, they sent out their stuff. So everything that was uh, that you won from um, Riker Riders, all that information was sent to them. If you sent it to me, I definitely sent it to them. So they're making the determinations on mailing stuff out. So uh, if you haven't received anything from Riker Riders yet, just let me know. I will re I will check in for you and see what's going on. Not a problem, but just to let you know, everybody who sent me information that went through Riker Riders that day is going direct. All your information went directly to them. Okay. Uh, Red Lips Vega, thank you for checking in. Appreciate that. Tempe, once again, longtime channel member. Thank you for checking in. Hey, everybody that's on IG, if you want to shoot over to the YouTube live and um, join us for this little video I got going on. So I guess, uh, let me just, 23, yeah, I could just jump right into this video. We'll play it and we'll see how this looks. Let me add this to the stream real quick. Everybody watch this video. It is definitely something to... Hold on, let me uh, pause it and let me get rid of this stuff out of the way for you guys. We don't need to see that right now. We'll bring the channel members back in one second. All right, here we go. We got the video up and let's press play. So it's going to be. Watch this little accident here. So you got bikers, you got spiders, you got some two-wheel bikes out there. It's gonna slow down right there. In case you missed it, I'll play it again. So we'll play it back one more time for you guys. And okay. All right, let's check it out. Oh, Riker Bill. What's up? Thank you for checking in. Got Heather on. Heather's going to be administrating. Uh, Heather's going to help me administrate this video. You know, I always got Heather in there as my video administrator. She helps me out with all the stuff that I miss. And definitely, she says, uh, check. Definitely says, hit that like button. That's important. But was that a passenger? I, I I watched the video several times, and, and I don't think that was a passenger. So let's play it again, and I'm going to try to stop it. I do believe it was the guy on the two-wheel that 
got kind of close to one of the one of the Rikers or the Spiders, and he fell off. But let's play it again. Let's see if I can see. We're gonna have a two-wheel coming up. I don't know if he was squeezing the tree. There he goes. It looked like. I believe the two wheel clipped. Oh, here we go. Team Spider's gonna tell us all about it. All right, so Team Spider says he stopped short. So he stopped short. He got he stopped short behind one of the Can Ams. And then he fell off or he got clipped. Either way. Either way. Was it the car on the shoulder? I don't know. I don't know. Let's head out. Mama Mac, what's up? Thank you for checking in. Appreciate that. Tre- hey, yo, Trev Lowe, what's up? Thank you for checking in. Make sure you everybody puts in who checks in where they're riding, what state and what city, the county they're riding in. So probably... Okay, Team Spider said he fell off. He stopped short and fell off. Okay, so I'm assuming that he was trying to squeeze in some way he shouldn't have squeezed. Let's play that video again. I'll drop the sound because you don't need the sound. Um, let's play it again. Hold up. This is the end part. All right, let's do it again. So I'm going to try to stop it. It is a two-wheel. I'm assuming he stopped. Was he trying to squeeze through? Either way. Let's talk about that. We talked about riding in groups, right? So here we go. Right? So there he's off. He's on the floor. And he's on his back. Now, from the looks of it, you know, I can't really tell what type of gear he was wearing or what. But from the looks of it, he almost got ran over. But it looked like everyone else was paying attention. So, like I said before... Like I said before, when you ride in groups, that went back to my whole safety thing about riding in groups. You got to be constantly aware of your surroundings. It's no joke. There's so many bikes and people coming up along each other and passing. And, you know, sometimes people are not riding in a formation and things like that. And then, boom, you got things like that. Now, did he fell off because he wasn't paying attention? Was he showing off? These are the factors. These are the factors that I talk about when you're riding, right? So this is one of the important things I talk about is riding in groups, ride where you feel comfortable. We did a whole show on that. And also things about showing off in groups, cutting in and out, not being safe. And this is what happened. Now, it looked like everybody was going at a pretty moderate speed. So now, what type of damage are we talking about sustaining? Hopefully, he was wearing equipment. I can't tell from the picture, but I'm assuming, I hope that he was wearing some safety gear. If not, that's a serious amount of road rash. Serious amount of road rash. Let's go to the comment section real quick. Uh, Top, bottom, 205. What's up? Birmingham, Alabama in the check-in. Heather says, let me get your comments on this accident. I feel like he either stopped or hit the can am trying to avoid that car with the flashes on there. Shoulder. Yeah, uh, Team Spider said he stopped short. So I'm assuming, Heather, you're probably right on that. Uh, yeah, it looks like he tried to move over from the car and the shoulder, clip the other rider. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Trevlo says, right or right, CT, stay in your lane. Facts. Uh, let's see what else. Um, yeah, Miriam, just email me uh, your information. I don't know if I replied to your email. If I replied to your email about the gifts and the wins, then your information was forwarded. If you did not forward me anything, then this would be the time to do it. Super grainy, hard to tell about his gear. Sure, still would have checked my pants. Yeah, I don't know if he had on group uh, gear. So listen, 
this is what I was talking about when I said before. Now, this brings into back to everything. This brings you back to safety gear, uh, paying attention, showing off, riding with groups, uh, taking care of your surroundings. All of this, all of this plays into a part of an accident just like this, right? Uh, my email and all my contact information are in the description of my videos. If you need my contact, any way to contact me, Facebook, email, YouTube, Twitter, just uh, hit me up. You can look in my description. Rolling on three wheels at Gmail is my email. But if you need to copy and paste it, you can go into my description. All right, let's see if we can get it again. I'm going to try to stop it, but I also wanted to talk about what happened with the other riders. Now, you see, let's watch what's, what the other riders do after the accident. First of all, the other riders were paying attention, so definitely he didn't get run over by another Can-Am Riker rider or a spider rider, right? So let's see, right here, right? So it looked like they avoided it. Now, look at what all the other riders do. They start slowing down on the highway, but not into a shoulder. That, I understand that, you know, you just saw somebody fall and you want to pull over. But you have to pull over into a safety area or somewhere you can get off the road. You start slowing down on the main roadway because of what happened to him. You got to remember the cars that see this guy on the road is going to be swerving, if not paying attention. And now you're stopped. You understand? So that's where you can get into more problems. So I understand it's a fellow rider. He went down. But you got to get safe because you have to be safe to, say, to help him. So I know it's instinct. Everybody wants to hit the brakes and stop. But you're on an open road highway. You can't just stop on the road. You guys got to find a shoulder, pull over. And walk back to help them. Right? So that's more, that's important too, everybody who was with him. And luckily, everybody who was with him was paying attention and made the proper maneuvers to not run him over. But no, I don't, Mama Matt, I don't have uh, too much of the footage, but he did stay on the road. And that also reminds me now he was able to get up. But that's another thing. A lot of people, when they fall off the bike, the instinct is to get up and and get up. But sometimes you're so disoriented, you can run back into traffic. They say you shouldn't get up. They say you should crawl to safety because sometimes it's just your adrenaline. Let's see. Oh, yeah, he was on a two wheel, if y'all guys didn't know. He was on a two wheel and he was squeezing through. Let's play it again. So he was on a two wheel coming through, riding with the three wheels. Looked like they had the whole highway they was taking over. So, like he said, he stopped. And I'm assuming it was because of the car. So this is where he goes down. So the whole two wheel. There he goes. If you could see it, I know it's hard, but you see his legs up in the air. The bike is on top of him, and you see his sneakers both up in the air. So if you look at the picture, it's pretty hard to get it. I know it's a little grainy, but, you know, unfortunately, that's how the download came. But he's in like a grayish-white suit, and you can see him on his back, two legs up, and the bike on top of him. So I can leave it there. So he's in the... It looks like he's in between the second and the third lane. So if he fell off his bike, he's definitely still in the active roadway. Now, what was that? You know, what was that? Was he showing off? Team Spider said he stopped short. But why did he stop short? Did somebody cut him off? Was it the car? I don't know. And this is why I told you guys the whole thing about you know, riding in groups and sticking in formation and staying where you're safe. Listen, 
everybody wants to ride together, have a great time. You also want to go home, right? And tell everybody and show everybody that you had a great ride. So if you can't handle it, there's no reason for it. You don't have to show off. Yeah, the rider is okay. Yeah, the rider is okay. Thank you. Yeah, I would never show you anything where somebody didn't make it. No, I'm not going to do that here. Yeah. But that's another thing about riding. Mama Max says, it's crazy. Seems like everybody's all over the road. Yeah. Now, that's having a good time. I know when the groups are big, you know, you want to ride all over the place and everybody taking over and showing off. That's cool. Don't get me wrong. Riding out is having a lot of fun. But you also, like I said before, you have to ride when you feel comfortable. That's it. You just can't show up. It's dangerous out there to do that. Uh, if you crash, you say, well, I don't even call. The others come to you. Might have a back back. Well, that's true too, Ed. But if you can't get out of an active roadway, you should crawl out of an active roadway. If you can. If you can get your own body up and you can move, then get out of the active roadway. Uh, National Highway Safety uh, Institute says when you're in a motorcycle crash you sh and you're on an active roadway and you can, you should try to crawl out of the roadway as well as you can because laying in there will cause a lot more damage because no one no you might not be seen there but yeah if you're in the point where you're incapacitated listen i'd rather do more damage to my back and crawl away than lay in an active roadway and hope no one runs me over because remember there's a lot of debris on the road there's a bike there's parts people might not notice you know the person part of it and run you over so yes that's a good tip but always if you can crawl out the way please do because it's a highway and people are moving at speeds and you understand and i know all you guys see it all the time people driving 50 60 70 miles an hour looking down eating food combing their hair texting on the phone so definitely Get out of that roadway if you can. Uh, shout out, Brian. Yo, what's up, man? Thank you for checking in, bro. You're not late. Thank you for checking in. We're going to do this little safety talk video, and then I'm going to talk about this contest I got coming up. It's going to be a lot of fun. Anybody that's on IG, they want to shoot over to the YouTube live. And I'll probably give away something tonight. Maybe I'll give away uh, a book if you guys don't have a book. Let's see what I got here. Sorry, fellas. Ed, yes, especially on their phones, Ed. That is a fact. People are always on their phones. Ride or drive. Thank you for checking in. Appreciate that. Uh, one badass butterfly. When right rides, coordinate large ride to a single file, two or three wheels. It's a single file. We ride out at least 25 bikes, one lane, all coordinate. That's what's up. That's how you should do it 100 percent. you're absolutely right uh team butterfly uh, team spider said it's a dislocated shoulder okay so he walked out of there alive which i thought i didn't know the extent of his injury like i said i'm not going to show you a video of somebody who didn't make it so that's definitely uh i don't know if he was wearing his gear but if he only walked away with a dislocated shoulder, that could be popped back in. Uh, Black Ice checking in. Hey, what's up, my brother? From No Pope. Appreciate that. Anybody in the No Pope of VA? My man Black Ice is on the line, which is cool. Uh, Heather said, not a bad idea. I like that. One badass butterfly. I'm going to call you 1BB right now so I don't have to keep saying it. Uh, check out what T says. Let me just take a sip right there. She says, when Riker, y'all just had a big ride out too. 
One BB. <laughs> uh, y'all just had a ride out too. I saw um, Riker Riders Connecticut. Y'all hooked up and had a ride out uh, with, I think, Upstate. I think I saw you guys on IG, right? But that makes sense. Riding in single file. We just had a big ride out for 9 11 with uh, Team Spider NY. And no problems, no casualties, nothing going on. Everybody was uh, riding safe and in formation as much as they could. And. It was just a good ride out. It was good. Oh, you calling me out? <laughs> I'm going to tell you, I'm going to start getting with these out-of-state rides. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to definitely start hooking up with these. Don't worry. In time, in time, I'll be hooking up so I can ride out with you guys in all different types of states. I'm going to take this show on the road eventually. As soon as I get some free time, that's what's up. I'm definitely going to head out there. That looked like y'all had a lot of fun. That was uh, upstate uh, upstate in Western Mass. Yeah, that's what's up. Let's see. What else? Uh, see, we had a bike night and two riders went in the wreck and left on a bus. They'll be okay. Woo! Man, wow. Wow, how was that? What kind of ride out was it? Were you just riding recreational? Was it for a theme, Heather? I mean, did they hit each other? I mean, how did that go down? Was it uh, something they could have avoided? i like to hear about that so we could talk about it so we can keep each other safe. One badass. Okay. Yeah, I'm looking forward to meeting you guys down there too. Absolutely. Absolutely. So Heather said they were veterans, just a regular bike night. Mm. Well, I hope they're all right. I hope they're all right. They were hit at a red light. I understand is keep your heads on the pivot. That is a fact. I think red lights are the worst. Every time I've had an accident on two wheels and on three, it was at a red light. Every single time. Well, no, one time was at a stop sign. I was stopped. And I wasn't moving. The person just decided to cut over and hit me. But every accident I had was at a red light. It's crazy. It's crazy. Always leave room to make emergency. Yes, we talked about that, Real McCoy. We said we have to give ourselves an escape route. I never, when I'm on my two wheel, I'm a car distance from the vehicle in front of me, a full 10 feet at least. Because if I get hit, I don't want to get crushed. I'd rather have an escape route. This way, if I could have enough time, I could turn the wheel, excuse me, and get away from this. You got a target on back. <laughs> uh, Heather says I got a target on my back. You know, <laughs> I do. But listen, I, I'm I'm a man of faith, so I, I I pray, I pray, Heather, I pray, I pray. So I, I, I so far so good. I'm in lucky. Oh, new channel member there. Shout out to my boy over there, Donnell Eason, Cops Court and Community. Everybody clap them in. I got a new channel member. That's what's up. Long time supporter, long time good friend of mine. Got a YouTube channel. Check it out. He just dropped a video. Um, you should check it out. It's for the Stiller run. It's the Tunnel to Towers run for the 9-11 Memorial. He was down there live with the full footage of it. And he put it up on YouTube. So any of you guys who um, who uh, know people from 9-11 who might have lost to someone and they know about the Stiller run, the Tunnel to Towers run, he put the video out. He was down there filming it. So shout out to my man over there. Clap him in. Got a new channel member. He will be up on the channel member board 
let me bring that up for everybody so this is the channel member board so now so now anybody who is a channel member will be displayed in my videos randomly i'm not sure uh i'm not sure how i'm gonna do it or keep doing it it'll pop up eventually in and out of my videos uh remember i'm running my own video board so yeah i gotta i gotta keep like little notes to make sure i get you guys in there so appreciate that pre shout out the cops court and community for joining the channel becoming a channel membership that's what's up uh let's see what we got here uh let's see let's see uh oh smurf one checking in what's up oh yeah he just sent me a picture last week he bought in for some of the merch uh appreciate smurf one with the merch that's what's up matter of fact i'm gonna bring up some merch for you guys now so you can see because i just dropped something new in the merch apparel uh I hope you guys like it. I'm putting out a lot of stuff for my Riker fam. So here we go. Let me get rid of this right here. And let's see. So right there, if you guys watch looking, let me take this banner down. Y'all got to excuse me because, uh, you know, I'm running this all by myself. This takes a lot to run around. So just give me a sec. All right, so yeah, so you guys know since uh, my boy bought the bought in merch, I just introduced that Riker book bag there, the Riker Racing book bag. Nice little minimalist knapsack for you guys who ride, because you know the Can Am don't come with too much uh, space. So I got a little book bag there for you, minimalist. Hey, and if you want to give one to your little mans or little girls, that book bag is pretty cool. I made it super affordable. You can get it on Etsy. Super affordable. Designed by me. And I got merch apparel. If you guys don't know, I have it on Etsy store now. And I have on Amazon all different types of uh, Riker apparel. So just some pretty cool t-shirts with nice colors. And none of my t-shirts are going to be over $20 no matter what. So if you guys are interested, my link is in the description below if you want to purchase T-shirts or the new Riker book bag. All right. Let's go back into what people are saying here. Rider Drive says, I pray before every ride, not for nothing. No, that's what's up. Faith. Faith, man. You got to pray and then pay attention. What they say, Jesus takes the wheel or something. I believe that's what they say. Um, it was a nice run. I didn't get to watch it all, but history on the run was pretty impressive. Oh, yes. Yeah, there's still a run. Yeah, it was pretty cool. Uh, who we got checking in? Oh, J and G five wheels. Yeah, the rider's okay. The rider is okay. Yeah, he dislocated the shoulder, but he is okay. Oh, we got somebody checking in. Mark Robinson from Australia. Thank you for checking in all the way from the other side of the world there. Uh, Smurf, are you making or have hoodies for the weather? Yes, I have the Halloween hoodie out. Uh, the, Riker, uh, the Riker Halloween hoodie. And sweat long sleeve tee is out. It's actually a sweatshirt and a long sleeve tee. So if you want something like that, it's the pumpkin face with the Riker inside. Pretty cool. If you're looking for a little Halloween costume, you want to be dressed up on your Riker and not looking too crazy. Yes, I have those. Let's put Heather up there. And she says, give this video a thumbs up. All right. End of the night. I'm probably going to do a book giveaway. If you already have the book, you don't have to enter. But I'm definitely going to do a book giveaway tonight. I'm not going to keep you on too long because I want to talk about this contest. Smurf one says the weather is changing. That is true. It's starting to get a little chilly out in NYC. So 
riding is going to be starting to get lim a little limited. <laughs> hey, that was pretty funny. Eh? Jesus takes the wheels, not a valet explanation when a cop pulls you over. That is a fact. You can't say Jesus took the wheel. That is pretty, pretty, pretty cool saying. You could try it, though. I mean, if you're running out of uh, excuses, why not try something a little unique? You might get the guy to laugh, the cop to laugh. I don't know. I would laugh if you said it. Listen, uh, <laughs> Mama Mac, I love my three wheels down shirt. Thank you. Appreciate that. Uh, ride or drive. Post a very close call on Moringa. No footage. Just discuss how close. I avoided... I avoided a crash. Oh, okay. I'll have to check that out later on that. That's going to be pretty interesting. Miss Goody checking in from South Florida. Miss Goody, did you send me, you sent me a message and I responded to it and you never responded back. I need you to send me an email. Uh, you sent me something over the YouTube description, and I told you you got to email me so we can talk about what you put in the YouTube. I don't want to go back and forth in the YouTube comment section because that's public view. So if you can send me an email, uh, which we was talking about before, I did reply to you. You didn't reply back, but please send me an email, all right? Thank you for checking in. Appreciate that, though, Miss Goody. Heather running the board for me. Thank you very much, Heather, for doing that. Let's see. We got the thumbs up. Everybody's in the thumbs up. I'll bring the video back. Uh, let me get this out of here so we can see what's going on. All right. So let's play this back. So what I did was I slowed it down as much as I could so we could talk about this little accident. Uh, not a little accident, but, you know, the man survived, dislocated the shoulder. I'm quite sure a little bit of rash on him. But here we go. Boom. But like I said before, sometimes it's not just the accident. You know, it's also how you handle yourself, the people around them, too. So that's very important, too, because you don't want to cause too much of a problem because um, one of the other riders I know went down um, um, Irv McCoy. He went down on his bike. Same thing. Uh, riding in a group, somebody shot out, hit his back tire. He went to the wall, destroyed his Riker. The rider went down. It was bad. Oh, we got an update on the rider from Team Spider. We're emerging to the exit, which was our right side to come off the exit about two lanes. We took up. Okay. So they were merging to get on the exit. He said they were about two lanes. They were taking two lanes, and that's where the accident occurred. All right. Well, I hope the young man is all right. I hope he's back on riding again. Uh, from what he told me, he stopped short, lost his balance. Stopped short. Okay. Well, I don't know if he stopped short because he was going to hit somebody or did he just stop short in the middle of a road because either way, stopping short on a highway is not a good way, not a good look. But unless he was avoiding an accident, then I can understand but hopefully the man is all right. But I just wanted to show you that, you know, in real time, what this is looks like and how you have to avoid. See, when you're riding in groups, something like that could happen and you don't want to be the one to run the man over. So you have to pay attention more than ever when you're riding in groups because you have those riders out there. You don't want to clip somebody or anything like that. Uh, yeah, Heather, Heather says... And there's an the answer. Thanks for clarifying that. Pre appreciate that. Uh, 
JJ, being a two wheel rider, anything on the road is a hazard. Even marking lines is great. Yeah, I mean, being on two wheels is rough. I know. I've been there. It's it's rough. It 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 can take a toll on itself. It 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 is something, you know, you really have to pay attention. It is so important, you know, that you that you pay attention like that cuz it it happens in a split second, in a split second, you know? Uh Heather says, I'm sorry. 1 BB and stop short due to hesitation. Okay. Orlando stuff. Orlando stuff. What's up? Thank you for checking in, man. Um like I said, when you check in for the first time, man, uh put in where you ride, your state, your city, whatever it is, just so people know that there's some people around might be around your area that ride or some events coming up. So definitely, you know, when you check in, put your state, city, whatever you want to put. Sorry. Uh, Real McCoy on three said too much front brake. Possibility. Yeah, possibility. Breaking hard on a two wheel can be dangerous. You know, you get into a slide like that. But luckily, he didn't hit anybody or he did not hit someone himself. So obviously, whatever he was doing, he was able to make a maneuver where he didn't cause damage to anyone else. So. Let me see. Heather just put some uh, totally off subject, but why don't they do dual brakes with one control on two wheels? Dual brakes. Oh, I think what you're saying, uh, one brake controls both wheels instead of a handbrake and a foot brake. Is that what it says? Is that what you're trying to say, Heather? I think that's what you're trying to say. I don't know if they do that with bikes. I'm not sure if they do that. I haven't rode two wheels in a very long time, so I don't know what type of upgrades they've been doing to two-wheel motorcycles. I know they're getting very high-tech now, so I'm not sure. If anybody knows that, if they are doing stuff like that to two wheels, you could just come into the comment section real quick. I'm just curious myself now that Heather brought it up. It's not unrelated. It has to do with safety. Orlando, Orlando Stubbs, Chicago in the house. Ride or drive LA, Three Wheel Nation. That's what's up. Any of you, um, Heather says, my husband rear ended me when we first got our bikes. He was trying to hit the handbrake instead of the foot brake. Yes. That was my problem when I first got mine, too. I was looking for the handbrake. I almost lost it coming out of the dealership. Like, truly, like, wow. I thought I had it, but I really didn't have it. It was a while. Well, you had yours longer than me. The day I left the dealership, I was wobbling. I was like, uh-uh, I don't, I'm not too comfortable on this. I'm still looking for a handbrake. Riker Bill says, ouch, that's a fact. Oh, man, 1500 worth of damage. Oh, oh, you're hurting my heart right there. That's too much. You're hurting my heart. All right, so listen, um, we can go back to that. We'll bust that down. I want to talk to you about this contest. So what I got proposed, what I got proposed in this new contest Wait, hold on. I don't want to miss this up. They do. Wait, somebody said it now. Right about now. Oh, what's up, my boy over there? Uh, 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 yo, what's up? They do link brakes where you hit either brake and will activate both legs. But in my opinion, on two wheels, you need separate brake for better control, especially in turns. All right, so we got an answer. That's what's up. Okay, uh, we, everybody's commenting on this uh, the uh, one brake for two wheels type thing. Uh, Ryder Brown now is in these separate brakes for trail braking on two wheel turns. Okay. Red Lips Phil says, um, 
I'm riding two right now. I would not like a dual brake. All right, so it makes sense. It makes sense. That makes sense. All right, so that's what's up. So I want to talk to you guys. I'm going to put it up. So here I have a contest coming up, right? So everybody who's been following their favorite uh, YouTubers, um, Riker, Riker content YouTubers, I wanted to give uh, one of the people who are in the Riker family, whether you're a follower, subscriber, I'm going to do something separate anyway in the near future for channel members, but just for any subscriber, I want to give you a chance to be on the show with your other favorite YouTubers in the Riker community. So it's going to be something like this where, let me get this out of the way. So it's going to be something like this. So it'll be me, you, and two other YouTubers from the Riker community, and you will be on the show live and you will get to talk and hang out with your favorite YouTubers, right? So this is what's going to happen. So what I'll do is eventually I'll set up the rules and the regulation, reg, the rules and the regs on how to join the contest. And then I'll put them out all on social media and YouTube and all of that. And then when I get the winner, I will coordinate a day with the winner so you can come on the show and then I'll have both YouTubers and you can hang out with us the whole night or however you can um uh, however long you can hang out and you will kick it with us all night. So if any of you guys are interested in something like that uh let me know if you guys uh you know put in the comments below that you're interested in being in a contest like that and what i'm gonna do is have you and you'll get a direct link and you'll be able to come on and hang out with us all night i think that would be pretty cool what do you think any interesting just let me know in the comment section before if anybody has any good ideas on how I should run the contest or how I should how I should pick it up or pick people to do it. Definitely hit me up and let me know if uh, let me know your good ideas in the comment section below. That'll be uh, extremely helpful because I'm trying to figure out a good way to pick a winner to be on this show because I think it would be pretty cool. Let me see what else. I'm going to set up. Let me set up a giveaway so we can do a giveaway tonight. Let me just set that up on. Uh, all right. Sorry, guys. Just want to set up a giveaway wheel. To got it. All right. Just wanted to set that up real quick. All right. Let me go back to this and bring that up. Okay. There we go. So that's the contest. Let's see. Let me go back to the words and let me go back to the people and check in right now. My man Zia is in the house from Right About Now. Check out Zia's channel, Right About Now. He's uh, rebranding, started out with the Can-Am Riker back on two wheels. I think he still has his Can-Am, but um, definitely check out Right About Now, the YouTube channel. Cool brother over there, Zia. Uh, let's see what we got. We was talking about two brakes on the one brake for the two wheel. Uh, let's see what else. I think everybody here. 
Uh, wait, hold on. Mama Max says, I just ordered it. It's called the Riker T-shirt on your Etsy store. Thank you. Thank you. I put some stuff on my Etsy store, and I also had to put some stuff on Amazon because sometimes Amazon doesn't let me put certain things on the Etsy, on their shop, so I have to put different designs on Etsy. So uh, that's why I have to have two stores. So if you don't see a design you like, there's 10 designs on Amazon and I believe maybe five on Etsy. I'm planning on bringing another uh, 10 more designs out. So I'm trying to make the largest uh, Rika apparel novelty t-shirt company there is online. So I'm coming up with designs and working with designers to get y'all some cool shirts. And like I said, I want a shirt for everybody, not just my name on it. Just cool Riker stuff on there so you guys could rock it at any time. Shout out to Mama Mac for buying that shirt. Uh, let's see. Oh, Heather says, sweet idea. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Darwin Carter, I just switched my pre-order from a rally to a sport. That's what's up. I like the sport. That's cool. I like the sport. Uh, let's see what we got here. We got um, right about now. Right about now, and Heather's having a conversation about bikes. I think right about now has the Harley. Yeah. Okay. That's true. And uh, Heather says, yeah, we got to know when you get that sport, Darwin. Let us know. I'm dying to see that sport. That's that 2022. D checking in. D, what's up? Thank you for checking in. Appreciate that. Appreciate that. Heather's in the house. Thank Heather for the donation. Everybody clap it up for Heather. Heather throwing that little that donation out to me. Not little. Much appreciated. There you go. Thank you for your donation, Heather. Appreciate it. She's doing a lot of things there. She's administrating the channel, donating in the channel. You know what I'm saying? So shout out to Heather. She's doing it big. Heather gonna need a, I'm gonna have to put Heather on the payroll as soon as YouTube ups my payment. You know what I'm saying? Uh, let's see, let's see. Let's see what we got. I don't know if um, Right About Now has a Harley. I'm not sure what he's riding right now. Darwin says the rims on the sport is better, but I'll let y'all know. Oh, right about now has the 2021 road glide. Listen, um, that sport, though, that's what's up. I want to see how that looks, man. I can't wait to see people on it. I, I want to see if I could get it when it hits the dealer so I could take a um, so I could take a ride on it when it hits. When it hits down, I want to be able, as soon as it touches down, I want to take a ride on that 2022 sport and see um how that feels i mean it's probably not much to it but i just the look i i just want to see it 2022 i'm riding a 19 20, three years i don't know i want to see it it might be dope it might be dope coming in no. oh, sorry guys let me see yeah she keeping the chat going she definitely keeps the chat going. She definitely keeps everything rolling in my chat because it's hard for me to keep up with everything here. So shout out. Let me uh let me fix the let me fix that uh thing right here. So yeah, check it out. So look, Riker family, all the new members that join, I will be putting you on the chalkboard and definitely have you uh 
definitely have you up on the board soon. All the new members to the channel, thank you very much. I appreciate it. So that's definitely a good look. Definitely. And don't forget the contest. So what the contest is going to be is everybody that's on IG, appreciate you checking in. Uh, Liz Bavaria, if I said that right, Frankie MF, thank you. Uh, Miss Arab5, thank you for checking in. Danny, thank you for checking in. So, so definitely, definitely, um, for this contest, if you guys have any good ideas, hit me up in the chat section or hit me up into the in the in my email if y'all got some ideas how do i should do this contest how i should pick people and things like that i want to get it done uh sometime in november you know early november and i want to get somebody on the show and just kick it with a bunch of youtubers and just you know hang out have a good time so if you want to get in this contest or you got ideas about the contest i know everybody wants to get in but if you have ideas on wanting to be in the contest, please hit me up so I know I want to get some good ideas. So, um, hey, I got another update from Team Spider Rider. Uh, he says, thank God two nurses run to help him. Plus, we had a few members of service with us. So that's what's up. So the person was able to get aid immediately and help so that's always a plus thank god for that thank god for that so yeah thank you for the updates team spider on that wishing him well the whole Riker family's wishing him well on a speedy recovery i do hate to see a rider down regardless I want to see everybody ride safe. That's why I always preach safety gear, riding safe, wearing a helmet, and things like that. Ryan P. from Maine clapping it up. Uh, Heather saying he was blessed that day for sure. That is a fact. He was blessed. Uh, Mama Mac is trying to get my fiance over to the Riker side from his two wheels. Oh yeah, that's definitely what's up. We definitely got to do that, Mama Mac. Uh, tell him to follow rolling on three wheels so he can see how much fun it is to be on the three wheels and maybe he'll roll over and give up those two wheels. Uh, what's up with the adventure with the new rims? All right, so we're working. Uh, thanks for bringing it up. Uh, we are working with a manufacturer to design some uh, Can-Am rims. Uh, that's not an easy process, no, but we got a manufacturer and now we got to work out the details. And uh, when those are worked out, I'll be working with Riker Riders and getting out some uh, different set of wheels for the Can-Am. So with, uh, with hope that the 2022s are going to be the same size wheel, uh, we will be working. We got a manufacturer. And that also brings me to another thing. I was just curious if any of you guys are are into uh, 3D printing or 3D manufacturing, please hit me up. Send me an email. I got some ideas. I'm looking to work with somebody in the Riker community for some 3D manufacturing. So if you guys are interested or you know anyone that has the machine or is looking to do some stuff, I got a couple of ideas I'm looking to get maybe manufactured. So I'm working with a designer. Uh, let's see what the check-in, check-in, check-in here. La Unica. What's up? Thank you for checking in. I always got to say that right because she's scolding me for saying it wrong. All right. Brian James, that's what's up. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Oh, uh, look, Mama said to Mama Mac, keep it, keep at it, but do it gently. Men don't like me pushing something. Uh, you know what? Men don't like to be pushed into something, but if it's cool, they're not going to have a problem with doing it. So 
let them know how cool it is to be on the three wheels and he might just start to enjoy it right hey everybody that's on uh ig right now rika nito if you want to shoot over to my youtube live and join in the discussion there's about 25 people on the live if you all want to kick it i will be giving away uh something at the end of the end of the broadcast so definitely shoot over to the youtube section having some nice conversations here with everybody um be sure heather's right be sure to give this video a thumbs up i can see i'm gonna bring it up right now and see if i'm getting any thumbs i could tell you right now i got oh yeah i got everybody with a thumbs up that's what's up that is what's up everybody's in that's what i like that's exactly what i like everybody's in here with a thumbs up i got 26 oh 30 people i got 26 thumbs up i'm missing uh four people um Riker Riders is in there Riker Riders saying what's up thank you for checking in appreciate that appreciate that h sullivan mala molly zav Riker Riders, pa Thank you for checking in. Thank you. If you guys want to shoot over to the YouTube live, you can shoot over to YouTube live right now and join in the conversation. There's like 30 people on the YouTube live, so we're having a good time here. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Okay. Riker Riders said we'll be the first to drop 18-inch rims, three design styles, because also the spike for the inserts, also available in color that's what's up d said when they dropping like i said uh these things take time manufacturing and all that so please give us some time or give Riker rider some time to get the hammer out the deals with manufacturing nobody wants to rush out a product that's not safe right got it nobody wants to rush out a product that's not safe so give it some time oh in the house miss al crespo in the house listen i want to make sure that oh uh, Riker riders is in the house so Riker riders uh i sent you a list of the winners uh i don't know if everybody got their stuff yet or if people are still waiting but uh, just let me know or just let the people know if you started mailing some things out and let people know if you're missing something from people. I know I'm missing. I know I'm missing two people that did not uh, contact me about winning. So that's definitely an issue. Uh, let's see, because I still got more stuff to give out. I'm just checking my notes from last time. So, yeah, so definitely let them know. All right. Okay. Casper is still waiting. Ives and Ship, we're missing an address on some people. Please DM us. Okay. Uh, uh, hit me up with a list of the people that you're still missing. Um, that did not... Uh, because I gave Riker Riders the list of all the people who won. So, Riker Riders, please email me a list of all the people you didn't get their information from. And then I will uh, definitely work out on coordinating with you so the rest of the people can get their stuff out. Okay? Uh, I need the red ones, but some 3D printed ones and they don't stay long due to temp changes, I think. Yeah, the 3D printed ones, it, wheel inserts, yeah, they don't work. You can't 3D print anything because, one, you're right, the weather, two, the vibrations, they're not built for that. You have to go with a molded plastic for, for items like that or a metal. Anything after that, it's not going to work. They're not going to stay. Uh, let's see. Riker Riders says, "Sing shit, we're missing." Okay, yeah. DM us. Uh, you could DM Riker Riders. 
But like I said, I have the list. So if you want to email uh, me the list of people who are missing, uh, let me know so we can get um, we can get the people out there stuff. Uh, let's see what we got here. Never give up. My two wheel just add three to the family. That's what's up. Definitely do that. That is definitely what's up. And don't forget, Heather is over. Not only is she admin here, she is also on the IG live telling people to shoot over to the YouTube live. That is what's up. So just to add again about the contest here. So what I'm going to do is, and if you guys want to help me out on how I should do this com contest, I'm going to have a winner come on YouTube live with me and two other uh, YouTube uh, hosts, and we're going to kick it all night about Can-Am stuff, and what's cool about it, you'll get something from me, and you'll get something from the other two YouTube hosts. Uh, the two YouTube hosts have not been determined, but there is already a bunch of YouTube hosts who want to be in it, so you are going to be in this, it's going to be an other Riker channel um, host, so Definitely, definitely is going to be a good time. You're going to get to hang out in the live chat and you'll be forever on YouTube. Plus, it will definitely be on all streaming platforms. So it will be on iTunes and Spotify and Google Cast and all that stuff where I put my podcast to. So definitely. Uh, Heather said, can we choose the other two? Uh, I don't know if I can, if I can let, well, because I have to make sure that they want to do it. Not everybody wants to be on my show, unfortunately, you know, Heather. So I can't say you choose them because if they don't want to be on there, I can't force them to be on the show. So I already asked around if I could find some YouTubers who would be down to do this for uh, one of their followers. So uh, we have I have some YouTubers in the pool, and when I, when I can narrow it down with it with some definite yes I'll do it definite yes I'll do it, then we'll run the contest we'll pick who's gonna be uh, the guest, and you can hang out with us. Hey, if you want to bring other people into your channel, I mean it really don't matter if you win, and you want to bring a couple of your friends in too, and y'all want to sit around while we. Uh, chat together we could do that too it's not going to be limited to just that just you by yourself if you want to bring a friend a, a spouse kids anybody you want to hang out with dog we can do that uh right garages posed the question what do the branches think about virginia beach event everyone be invited also will allow for florida south and north carolina all the other states branches to meet up in one place uh, <laughs> hey, so Riker Rodis is putting something out. He's got something in the chat there for all the other branches. Uh, check it out right there. Heather says the two I want would. That's true, probably. Uh, if I win, I will try to get Baja Ron to come with. All right, that's cool. That's cool. I mean, hey, you know, everybody's going to get a chance. But like I said, not only will I have this going on, I am going to do something personal for my channel members. And I definitely want to do a contest for them solely. So I'm definitely going to be giving out some cool stuff for them, too. I'm still on the road to 2,000. I don't even think I hit 2,000. Oh, no, I'm nowhere near 2,000 subs. I'm not even... I'm not even caring about subs anymore, you know? My whole thing is just to get people to watch the channel and feel safe and come on and enjoy and talk about their Can-Am Rikers and all that cool stuff. So if you don't sub, you don't sub. But if you uh, if you watch and you follow and, and, and it, it's all good and you get stuff from it, that's cool for me, you know? Uh D says, smash that like button. That's what's up, D. Appreciate that. Uh, 
Thank you, thank you, Heather. It is an awesome. Yeah, I got set 1.7, Heather. DJ McFly in the house. What's up? Hey, man, I've been sending you several emails, and I've been sending you some DMs. Uh, are you checking that stuff? We've been trying to get in touch with you about, you know, some stuff there. But yeah, so this is the contest. You're going to be able to be on live with uh, some other YouTube uh, Riker hosts that make some good Riker content. You probably already know who it's going to be. I mean, I'm not going to keep it that much of a secret, you know what I'm saying? But definitely, you guys know, I think it'd be pretty cool to be in the contest and then you get to hang out with us and talk and it's it's just going to be cool and everybody gets to watch. Quasi, what's up? Quasi on the check-in. Appreciate you, bro. Quasi Motard, long-time friend of the channel. My man Quasi over there. Check out his channel too, Quasi Motard. He's got doing some adventurous stuff on his bike. He's got a nice collection. If you guys don't follow Quasi. Uh, let's see. Mama Mac, I love the channel. It was cool. He loved the conversation about Riker. Hey, Mama Mac, that's what it's about. That's why I started the channel. Well, I started the channel to, you know, show people how to work on their bikes, but it just morphed into all this so i figured you know what i'm always talking about my bike and everybody talks about their bike so why not do a channel where people could talk about it freely and get information talk to each other conversate like a like a live forum i mean i know there's a lot of facebook groups but you know you chat you make a question you answer back but this is live this is real time and nobody's doing a real time live uh, Riker channel, so I said it just morphed into more things. So yes, Mama Mac, appreciate appreciate the shout out and the love. Clap it up for TJ McFly for the donation. Everybody, clap it up, one hundred percent. Channel donations keep this channel moving forward. And let's see, we got also O'Brien oh, James with the donation. <laughs> clap it in for Brian James. Clap it in. These are the people who keep the channel moving forward. That's what's up. Appreciate it. Yeah, everybody clap them in. Shout out, shout out. Definitely clap them in for the donations. TG McFly and Brian James for the shout outs and the love. You know what? Since everybody's in there, I'm going to give away uh, the logbook tonight. I'll start the contest now. So if you guys don't have a miles, if you already have one, you don't have to be in the contest. But if you don't, type in the word book in the chat and um, type in the word book, B-O-O-K. And what will happen is that will enter you into the wheel. And when you... Um, Don't forget, type in the word book, and that will add you into the wheel. Hold on, let me change this banner real quick. And what that will do is everybody who is entered in the wheel, when I spin the wheel, will win the book, right? So make sure everybody's just typing the word book, which is cool. Let me start collecting entries there. That's what's up. Keep on going. I got 13 so far. Let's keep on going. I need some more there. I needed some more. 15. Keep going. Keep going. Like I said, if you already have the book, you could join. If you want to join, you could join. I don't. If you want to join again, you could join. Oh, shout out to my man Irv McCoy. Just talking about you, Irv, on the IG. Bikes and Pizza, thank you for joining the IG. What's up? Appreciate that. You know, we I'm on my YouTube live all day, every day. Well, not all day, every day, but, you know, once or twice a month. But, you know, I'm on my YouTube live and, uh, you know, we chatting it up, did a nice little um, 
conversation. So, yeah, you can use the book for Heather's right. You can use the book for a two wheel. That's definitely what's up. I only got 18 entries. Come on, man. There's 29 people, but if only 18 people want the book, that's all right. Facil, my brother. Thank you for checking in, longtime friend, good friend of the family, my brother there. Facil, what's up? All right, y'all ready for me to pull the wheel? Y'all want me to spin the wheel for this book? All right, let's spin the wheel. I got 18 entries. Let's go. I know Heather got one. Let's do it. Who's going to get a book tonight? Red Lips Vega, you won the book. You have won the book. Please email me. All right. Please email me. Please don't let it wait around. Don't forget. Don't email me a month later. Please try to send me an email tonight. Uh, so I can get this book out to you by Monday because I'm not going to be going to the post, post office uh, Saturday or Sunday. So definitely I want to get that out to you. So Heather one, I mean Heather, sorry, Heather running my channel. Red Lips Vega won the book. You will get a book in the mail. I will put it, I will put a thank you and put your name in the book. I will write in there. Thank you from me. And you will have your own book so you can record all the cool stuff you do in your Can-Am. So when you look back years later and you say, wow, look at all this cool stuff I did to my bike and all the cool trips I took. And just have a nice little memoir, small size of your hand. You could put this into your little front there. You could fold it. It's soft cover. You can stick it in your back pocket if you're taking long trips. This is what's up. Put your name on it. If you want a little school, like a little school book there, I made it nice, simple, and easy for you guys. If you want to buy one, you can purchase one on Amazon. They are $6.99. That also helps the channel. So when you guys buy shirts and you guys buy, when you guys buy shirts and you guys buy book bags and t-shirts and all that other cool stuff from me, you know, let me bring up, I'm going to bring up my t-shirt design so y'all guys can see. So this is what I got going on. Let me make it bigger. Ah, so this is it, right? So you get the book bags, the t-shirt, there's the Halloween shirt right there, the Halloween sweatshirt. If you look closely, that's a Riker in there behind the eyes and above the mouth. Don't get it twisted. You got the It's Called a Riker t-shirt because that's what everybody asks you when they pull up. What is that? So I got you a It's Called a Riker, right? You got my Eat My Riker. You got my the women's shirt right there for all the ladies, women on road. That's what's up. That's what's up. Uh, let's see. Right, right. I think it's a great idea. All right. Yeah. So, congratulations for winning. And like I said, if you, oh, there's other designs here. Look at that. More coming up. This is the popular one, Rated Riker. That's what's up. Uh, this is my new t shirt, but it won't be around much longer. That's going to be my limited edition uh, Can Am Riker over all others. So these are some, these are the Etsy designs. These are the Etsy designs. So if you don't want to shop on Etsy, because Etsy is where I have the book bag, which is reasonably priced. But if you want, you can go to Amazon. If you have Amazon Prime, it's free shipping. And oh, well, can you look at this? Look who just popped in. My good old friend Can Am. What is up, Can-Am? How are you? 
What is up, Can-Am? How are you? Look at everybody. Can-Am is in the house. Everybody clap Can-Am in for joining in the YouTube. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, Can-Am, thank you for joining in. We was doing a little show on safety. Uh, we was talking about, uh, I don't know if you were watching, but prior to that, we was talking about a little, uh, we was doing a little safety show and the importance of riding with all your gear and being safe and and riding, um, you know, paying attention and getting home safe and, you know, just all that cool stuff. And everybody was chiming in about riding on their Can-Am. And look at everybody clapping in Can-Am again. Hey, Can-Am, I appreciate that. Thank you for checking in. I was going to even just talk about you guys because I just got my, my, uh, my email and my script for that video can am is producing for me or not about me but i'm producing and starring in a can am video that's going to be very informative to new riders entering into the can am on world road so shout out to can am for allowing me to be part of their big family by including me in this venture. I can't wait. I got my script in the mail and well, not in the mail, but my email, I got my script. So I'll be working on that. And I got a pre-production meeting coming up with you guys real soon. And hopefully I will not disappoint and get this video up for uh, the next wave of Can-Am on road. Um, <laughs> I like that one. Make sure, looking forward to make sure the New York asking is thick. <laughs> it's already thick, but I am going to make it very, very New York urban style. So it's going to look real authentic. You know, you're not going to get that cookie cutter park by the beach you know, uh, uh, talking, sitting on my bike with waves splashing in the background. Uh, I'm going to give you that urban New York vibe where you're going to be like, man, that's the real deal. So uh, shout out to uh, Can-Am for choosing me to be a part of this uh, wonderful thing they got going on. Can-Am does not disappoint. Um can -Am, Can am does not disappoint when uh since they uh brought me into the collective i have to say so um i'm gonna make this one real nice for you guys it's it's gonna be uh it's gonna be pretty 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 cool pretty pretty cool let's see what they're saying oh uh, look i'm getting all the new york 1BB, thank you. Appreciate it. JG on Five Wheels, thank you. Brian James, say coffee and a bagel. Repeatedly, coffee and a bagel. Coffee. Coffee and a bagel. <laughs> right about now, extra thick Brooklyn style. Oh, they're going to get it Brooklyn style. It's, it's going to be Brooklyn style. I can't wear the Yankee hat, though, but it's going to be Brooklyn style. Ah, look, can't even know. Bacon, egg, and cheese in one word. I, you know what? I got to find out who this is now. This has got me. You got me. I think I might know who this is. Is this the other Manning? Because not, you can't be Canadian and know the bacon, egg, and cheese. So is this is this the other Manning? I'm thinking it is because there's no way in the world Somebody from Canada know about the bacon, egg, and cheese and said it in all one world. That's real New York right there. You don't say bacon, egg, and cheese. It's bacon, egg, and cheese. So that you gave it away right there. I'm going to figure out who this is. Watch. I'm going to figure it out. I mean, unless it's my boy Jonathan, but I don't know if he's a New Yorker like that. This is a hardcore. This is somebody who knows. This is somebody who knows the bacon, egg, and cheese, coffee, coffee, uh, a cup of coffee. 
I'm going to figure it out, though. <laughs> There's no bacon, egg, and cheese in the script, but I don't worry. You're gonna, it's gonna be, it's gonna be real, real New York. See, I ah, see, I was wrong then. Nah, it's past man, it's bedtime. Okay, okay. I gotta figure out who this is now. Let me see. He says those freaking guys over there, Italian NY, them freaking guys over there. What you doing? I'll give you all the New York lingo in there. I'm going to find out who this is, though. Can-Am always jumping in. I'm going to find out who in Can-Am knows about the bacon, egg, and cheese. That's that's too, that's too much of a giveaway now. That's too much of a giveaway. Who could it be? I don't even know. I'll figure it out. I'm going to do some... Uh, do some investigation and figure out who this is. But yeah, just to let you guys know, uh, Can Am reached out to me and they're doing a line of videos for for riders so they could get uh, information directly on their website about riding and equipment and safety and gear and just a whole bunch of other things. So I've been chosen to be part of that. They sent me my script production, so I'm gonna. I have a production team, and I'm gonna produce a video for KM that's gonna be up on their site. So it's definitely gonna help out the new riders, and yeah, I'm gonna keep it real Brooklyn, real Brooklyn. So you guys will know that it's really me, and even though it's a script. I'm going to still put my swag on that so you guys uh, <laughs> be prepared. I don't know when it's coming out, when they're launching, but, you know, like everything else, I'm going to try to get it done ASAP, as quick and as professional as it is. And uh, I'll definitely be showing you guys some behind the scenes. As long as they allow it, I'll be sending you guys some behind the scenes footage of it. If they say it's okay, I will. If they say no, I can't. I won't. But uh yeah, we're gonna figure I'm gonna figure out who this is from KM though. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna start sending out some emails. I I got some of you guys' emails. I'm gonna start looking. Brian said Brooklyn all days. Brooklyn. Brooklyn. You gotta stretch it out. That's uh you 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 do it, Brooklyn. That's when you at the um you're in the stadium or your con a uh, concert. Or you just rep in the borough you when you're somewhere else, you give it that long Brooklyn. You know, you go to the Barclays, you know. Certain things, certain things, you know, it they just know where you're from. It's New York, not New York, New York, all that cool stuff. But yeah, appreciate that. But I'ma work on that. I'ma definitely work on that. But you know, like I said. The Barclay, right? Here you go. Brian says, Brooklyn, Brooklyn all day and every day. Barclay. <laughs> he said, I tried a burger last time. It was pretty good. You tried a burger in Brooklyn? You were supposed to try a pizza, bro. Nobody comes to Brooklyn for a burger, bro. You go to Brooklyn to get a pizza, a real slice, you know, a slice and a Coke. You definitely don't come to Brooklyn for the burgers, man. Pizza, bro. She goes to have to say it's gonna shot with a southern accent in all events. Brooklyn and have more confused. They're gonna think there's a Brooklyn down south or something like that. <laughs> no, that's all right. That's all right. Hey, it'll be fun. Just yell it out, Brooklyn. Tell them, Brian. Tell them. No, you don't. I, I understand. I understand you went to Brooklyn and got a good burger. That's what's up. And I appreciate that you came to Brooklyn. But you have to come to Brooklyn for a real slice, bro. Brian said brick oven. Now he's teeping it really, really Brooklyn with the brick oven. Bro, that. BB Brooklyn script. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, see, now he really knows. DeForest Slice. Now he really knows. He really knows good pizza. Because, you know, out of town, it would say something nasty like Sabaro. No, he knows the far. Oh, let me find out. Let me find out. Wow. That's old school. The far. Okay. Okay. All right. We're going to look at that. JG's Pizza, root beer, mustard dipping onto the crust. Ew. You don't put nothing on a New York pizza. Unless it's coming out the oven with it. You don't dip it in nothing. No way. You don't go to Philly for a cheesesteak and then dip it in ketchup and mustard, right? You get it the way it's given to you. See, I know how to order Philly and order. It's one with or one without. That's it. Yep. RC in the hood said we say it the same way. That's what's up. Right about now, say I'll do it next time there. Yeah, next time you come, we're gonna go get that pizza. We're gonna go to the farm and get that real slice. (laughs) Uh, Could be an expatriate. Oh, you're right. An expat. You're right. It could be. Brian says, please, thanks. I'm dying with laughter. You're freaking out how others eat. <laughs> Whiz we all day. That's what's up. See, can't him. This guy's a traveler now. He already know. Whiz we all day. See, even I know how to order a Philly cheese day. What, Quasi? I'm going to find out who this is in KM. Now he know how to order a Philly. You know how to order a cheesesteak? So what's the real deal? Is it Geno's or Pat's? What's up? Or keep it gangster, Ishka Bibbles. Ah, what you know about that, k and Ishka Bibbles. <laughs> Quasi said his wife, Brazilia, eat their pizza with mayo and ketchup. That's not a pizza anymore. Quasi, that is not a pizza. I don't even know what that is if you put mayo and ketchup on. It's not a pizza. I've never been out east, but I love Chicago. All right. Chicago pizza's all right. If you want all that heavy crust, I don't do that. RC in the house. Be more in the house. Brooklyn style, of course, all day. Uh, Right around now, it says, I like garlic butter with my pizza. No, that's not pizza. If you got to dip garlic butter on it, it's not a pizza. You know what that is? You can just order something nasty from one of them companies that make them cookie cutter pizzas. So you got to put crap on it to make it taste good. That's what you just did. That's why you didn't have a good pizza. See, if you order a good pizza, you don't need nothing on it. You don't need nothing. No mustard, no mayo, no butter, none of that. It's going to come out the oven like fire. You don't need that. Come on. Quasi said, I couldn't be in the same. Oh, Heather said, I can't be in the same room with someone eating like that. No way. D said, I get pizza in the shot. I, I'm not going to knock Chicago pizza because I heard Chicago pizza is banging. I haven't ate a Chicago pie, but a slice yet. But I don't know what these guys are talking about. Yeah, agreed. All right. <laughs> Oh, you know what's up with chopped cheese? Man, I've been eating chopped cheese. I've been eating a chopped cheese. Let's see if KM knows what's up with a chopped cheese. Then he really is old school Brooklyn. I've been eating chopped cheese for 40 years. Anybody know what the chopped cheese is? We're totally off subject now. That's crazy. Let me take this banner off. Yeah, we totally, we totally off subject now. We wilding out. Uh, Excelsior trying to reach out to Quasi. Brian P is like, yes, I would definitely put the vomit monster out too. No way in the world I'm going to let somebody eat a pizza like that. Brian James said a garlic roll. That's different. 
uh, Excelsior, I mean, Texas people here call a stromboli a calzone for some reason. That's weird because that's two different things. Somebody said, do you dip your crust in the butter? You don't need to dip crust. And Cameron said, Detroit pizza with spicy honey. Oof. What? What? That don't even sound right. Why are you putting things on a pizza? The pizza is the pizza. It's already created perfectly. What are you doing putting? Well, that's Detroit. All right. You do what you want, Detroit. You ain't doing that in New York. You're going to get thrown right out of the pizzeria. Let's see, Midwest Pizza, Northwest Illinois Pizza. All right, Chicago Deep Dish. I heard Chicago Deep Dish is banging. I got to have one of those. Uh, all right, pepperoni, cheese, crushed red peppers. Okay, that's that's how you do it. That's how you do it. I could do that. <laughs> Yo, that's funny. Wait, hold on. I got to get to that, but I want to read the rest of that. Uh, wait, Heather's talking about her bike. Uh, I talked to my local shop. They're going to recalibrate the yard center to see if it fixes my issue on the on the left. Okay, Heather, keep us updated on that. I had a pizza in Italy once. They don't sell a slice of it. Oh, okay. All right. I never had an Italian pizza. He said chopped cheese, hajis only. That's right, but we don't call them Hajis. It's the, it's the Akis. See, that's old school. So you're old school. We don't call them that. It's the Akis. The Akis do it. But I get it. That's old school. So now I know you got some real history out there. You got some age on you. I'm gonna narrow it down. You know I'm a detective, right? You know I'm gonna narrow it down. You know, I, you know I'm a detective by trade. By trade. I'm going to hunt you down, Candy. I'm going to find out who it is. I'm going to find out. We might be from the same. No, nah, we're not from the same hood. But, you know, I'm, I'm going to definitely find out who this is. We are, we're totally off topic, man. We went on pizza. Heather said, give this video two thumbs up. Please do. Uh, I'm an Simon Rebel. Oh, okay. Annapolis. Uh, MD, Maryland, right? That's Maryland. That's the best seafood. Um, used to go on them little crab runs in Maryland back in the days. Used to be able to get on a bus in New York, take you out to Maryland for the crab festival. I can't even remember where, uh, where that was. Baja says sriracha. No sriracha. You don't need sriracha. Uh, Red Lips, I think rolling next week should be a food network. <laughs> you know what I'm going to do? I like your idea, Red Lips. I'm going to take the bike out and go get you a real slice of pizza and eat it live and tell y'all you don't need all that crazy stuff on a pizza. Right? We all love the pizza stream. I'm going to have to rename this episode. <laughs> Into pizza. Candy says Chicago deep dish is basically a round lasagna cake. <laughs> I haven't had one, but <laughs> a lasagna cake. Oh man, that sounds like it's tough to swallow, bro. But I do want to go to Chicago. I do have to definitely try that. Oh man, that's hilarious. Uh, Heather said, what's a haji? Haji is a bad name for what we used to call people from the Middle East who run boat out here at bodegas or little corner stores. So it was mostly people from the Middle East, whether it be Afghanis, um, well, not too many Saudis, but you had a lot of Afghanis, a lot of Pakistanis. So they used to call it the Haji. But later we determined that in New York it evolved and they didn't like Haji. So it went to Aki. So that's Aki is short for my brother. So.
so Akbar. So now it's the, all the bodegas that are run by people from the Middle East. So I'll give you a whole breakdown on the New York language when you come out here and talk to people. Okay, here's a wild one. Do you ever sop up the pepperoni on the oil with the plate with your crust? Of course, Brian. You don't waste nothing. All right, let's get back. I don't know if we're going to get... Bikes and pizzas should have came on here. I guess so. Let's see. Yo, there's so much pizza stuff going on here. It is flying by. Okay, uh, ride about three, went from three wheels to one wheel of pizza. That's a fact. That's a fact. Let me see what else. MD Crab Cakes is the bomb. RC in the house, 100%. The Crab Cakes in Maryland are off the chain. Can Am on Road said, right about now, three wheels to grease the wheel. That's right. You get that grease off that pizza. That's what's up. Uh, let's see. Can Am on Road, we all know to need to grease the wheel. Surely pizza grease will do it in a pinch. Oh, snap. We got some new people checking in. Boxhead5760, thanks for checking in. It sells their pizza is one of the reasons I started Bikes and Pizza Nights here. That's what's up. Bikes and Pizza Night where? Uh, it's like a hot dog and mustard from Yankee Stadium. JG and Five Wheels. Only difference is a hot dog with mustard from Yankee Stadium costs you about $38. That's a fact. Uh, uh-oh, there's some heat. Can't I'm not sure you were here, but it wasn't in Chi-Town. Uh-oh, there's some drama here. Mama Max said, don't you insult no deep dish pizza. D. Nelson says we got good seafood in the South. Yes, when I was in New Orleans, I could tell you right now, I never ate a bad meal. I never had a bad meal in New Orleans. Everywhere I ate was good. Okay, basically, Muslims, this is me, Pakistani. I get it. Chiming in on the Akis and the Hachis. Let's see what we got. D says, too deep in the pizza, guys, and nobody want to talk about bikes. Yeah, this pizza thing took off, man. Well, we... <laughs> Let's go back into it, man. Matter of fact, you know what? We can talk about this stuff all night. And I don't want to kill everybody and keep on. Uh, let's go back into this bike life. All right. Let's go back into the safety talk. We'll do all that. Let's all go back into. By the way, if we're going to go into back in back into bikes, uh, who is uh, thinking about upgrading from the 2022s come out. I'm just curious. Let me bring up um let me bring up a new can and see what they say. Let's see uh let me bring up the can and 2022. Let me see. I'm gonna try to bring up um the new can ams for you. Can Am say he's getting the 2022. All right, that's what's up. I'm gonna go ride the 2022 as soon as they drop them off in the dealer. So I'm gonna do a little video because I want to check out a 2022 and see what's up. Can Am, I'm gonna show y'all how to run these type of live streams right here, though. You see that? See how I can instantly just flip my my show and. And turn it into into anything I want. If I wanted to, I could have brought pizzas up if I wanted to. But, you know. What's up? Who's going to get that 2022? Can Am. He said he's getting the 2022. Who's going to get it? Who's upgrading? Okay. Derek said he's upgrading. Let's see. 
I like the upgrade, but I need to sell my 2019. It says I was, but I bought the Advance 150 and wait for the electrics. Okay. Um, they said they have made it. Have they made it Alexa cap- capable? Hey, that's interesting. I didn't even think of that. It should be, right? Can anyone get them in 2022 to do a demo video on it? Hey, Heather's already Heather already pit me out. She's like, yo, put them on the 2022. And let's um let me do a video on it. Yo, who's gonna get it though? I don't know if I want to give up the Shadow Black Riker. Uh, right about now, definitely want to test ride the 2022. That's what's up. Uh, Brian said trade it in for the 2022. Heather says sounds good, but I got too much mods on it, hun. Yeah, that's true. When you put a lot of stuff on the bike, do you really want to? Um, do you really want to trade it in? But that's why you need the logbook so you can price it out. Derek says he likes the new rally for the off-roading. That's what's up. That's what's up. Can M said, Heather, demos are rolling south of Canada. I personally don't know when they're heading south. Yo, is is Canada even open yet? Because can I come and visit the shop? Because... I'm waiting for Canada to open. I want to do a uh, I want to do a YouTube video in the can and plant. I want to be the first to do that. I want to be the first YouTuber to visit the Rika can and plant in Canada. So is a uh, can and open so I could get over there and you guys could give me an invite. I mean, I play the paint ticket. All I do is y'all could just give me a place to sleep in the place. You know what I'm saying? I don't even need a hotel. I just crash out inside the plant you know what i'm saying it must be 24 hours i can hang out and fly back and do a nice video no no take the mods off the old bike save them and put them on a new one right right about now take the mods off and sell a popular mod separate now nah, just put them on Uh, order one of the page. Nobody ever got back. Then I found out the dealers were already taking tons. Yeah, the dealers are getting swamped. Swamped. You got to go straight to the dealer and get it. That's what's up. Uh, Can and Roy, I need to follow some Canadian folks. Uh, I'll be keeping a spider dog. I got room in the garage. That's what's up. So you're going to get Canada's essential travel only. Yeah, that sucks. Canada still closed. Yeah. Riker Rider says we're waiting for the 2020 to drop. We'll have new wraps, new rims, new mods, and accessories. Stay tuned. That's what's up. Red Lips says I'm not upgrading, just rolling with the 2020 sport. Oh, Heather says, I work for Enterprise. I can hardly get anyone in Canada a rental car. Man, that's crazy. Yeah, if they're compatible, she would use them again even better. Uh, Red Lips says, you can do a live chat at the plant. Yeah, I want to do one. I want to do a live chat over there. I want to come over there and film a whole thing live. I don't know. By internet, I have to use their Wi-Fi, Canadian Wi-Fi. But yeah, I want to do a, I want to do a whole walk around, a nice live video. I'll do live. I'll do pre-recorded. You know, you never know. But I definitely want to do a walk around of the plan. Get some. Oh, I got my vaccination. I got my vaccination and my booster shot. I got all that. I got vax. Well, let me not talk about that because YouTube is banning people who talk about that. So I'm going to leave that out. 
but I'm good if that's the case. I'm double good, triple good. Oh, yeah, you he's right. JG Five Wheels. You could put me down as essential personnel for Can Am BRP. <laughs> and then they'll let me fly in. That's a good one. Good looking out. J and G five wheels for that. <laughs> I have a double vaccination. No doubt. I got it too. Oh, well, we got to stop talking about vaccines. That's going to be the last time. We'll just say uh, we're, we're, we're protected. How about that? Because those words now in the algorithm get you flagged and get you kicked off. Yes, I have all three. Yeah, yeah, that's true. And look, they are censoring people on YouTube. That's a fact. So you got to take it easy. It sucks, but you can say a lot of things, but you sure can't talk about that right now. As I can't even say that, Heather, because I start saying that, that's even worse. They'll be like, well, it's not made for kids. I can't even use those three letters. It's a weird, weird environment we're living in. Weird. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go back to pizza. Nah, man, we're gonna go and continue talking. Why are we gonna talk about pizza when we could talk about all the cool things that you can do and put on your can am ranker, right? Let's talk about this cool stuff right here. How about that? You could go right down to my link below and pick up your Can Am book bag or your Can Am t shirts. And you could pick up all that cool stuff on my Etsy store or on my on my Amazon store. I got some cool stuff. And I also not only after I do my contest, let's bring up my contest. So we get uh Let's bring up my contest here. Let me go out of here and go back to my contest. Okay, let's bring this back up and shrink it down. And so, like we said, like we said, I'm going to do a contest where I'm going to pick someone to win. And that person who wins, which is going to be you, where the big U is at, Y-O-U, and me, where my big me is at, and two other of your favorite YouTubers are going to be on the show live, and we're going to talk all night and hang out and talk all types of stuff. If you want to talk pizza, if you want to talk riding, you want to talk all that fun stuff, that's where this contest is going to be for you. You're going to kick in there. You're going to win, whoever wins. And they're going to get to come and join in a live show and chat it up with us live. It's going to be great. So when I figure out how I'm going to do the details of the contest, um. When I figure out how I'm going to do the details contest, I'll put it out on social media and then we'll pick a winner. And then I'll coordinate it with the other YouTubers. And definitely it's going to be a fun night. Uh, let's see right here. Right about now, next video, ride it to a pizza joint. That would be a cool idea. Thank you. Uh, he's out calling a night. Thank you for checking in. Uh, can Am said, Heather, the cruise control is not back due to different EMU chip. We spoke about that before. Oh, Keon checking in. What's up, my brother? Thank you for checking in. You're not too late. Appreciate that, my man Keon718. Always out there riding with the groups, having a good time. That's what's up. Definitely. Yo, what's up, my brother? And anybody else who's out there, k &M is out there uh, doing their thing tonight, hanging out with us in the live chat. Always up late, k &M, So I guess either they work the PM shift because they don't have to get up in the morning or they're off weekends. 
and they like to hang out with me on these YouTube chats. Oh, yeah, I got the same thing. Carpal tunnel. Yeah, that's rough. Them long rods are rough, man. Shout out to Heather. Heather always helping me out with these lives as the administrator. k and sees what's up. That's right. Heather trying to get her bike back together, k and She's putting it in the shop. They're going to fix that your sensor for her so she can ride out again. And she's a true Riker lover right there. True fan true enthusiast so definitely we're trying to get heather's bike back and running again uh brian is looking to get a bottle holder which is the better side to mount uh i would do with the side mount i wouldn't mount too many things on the handlebar uh i would definitely do a side mount it's easier definitely on your left hand side of course. Uh, let's see. Uh, Mom and I have carpal tunnel. The throttle assist is huge. Okay. Uh, Keon's answering your question, Brian P. I had the side mount work better. Handlebars take more impact. I had the side one work better. Yeah, I wouldn't put nothing on the handlebars either. So good looking out for that, Keon. Uh, Brian says, thank you. Yeah, I, I noticed that I need the cramp buster too because those long rods, yeah, they're rough on me. And k and 100% right, right. Side mount is safe and keeping things on the handlebars. Might distract you getting to your field of view. 100%. I don't mount nothing on my handlebars except for my pedal commander. That's a small little box. It's not in my way. My speaker is mounted behind my instrument cluster, so that's not in my way. And I have my phone mount, of course. I don't think I have. That's all I have. Oh, my foam hand grips. I don't have nothing on my handlebars. But... No, I don't have nothing. I don't have anything. I have the windshield, though. But the windshield, you need that. I'm trying to think. No, I don't have nothing on my handlebars. But I wouldn't put anything that large on my handlebars anyway. Not a cup holder. Mm -mm. Yeah, I ordered that cramp buster. I think I have it, but I haven't been using it. I think it came in the mail. I haven't been riding that much, so I haven't really used it. But I ordered it after I was suffering from that five-hour ride during 9-11. That was killing me. So let me drop this off real quick. Let me change up the screen for you guys. So definitely don't forget about my contest. And don't forget about all these great people here. And, of course, the great people on the chat. See what I have up here? All the people who joined the channel. That's all the people who are channel members. So just to bring that up, if you just got on, um, everybody who participates as a channel member for me, that's 99 cent is to become a channel member. You get your name up on the chalkboard here. And that'll be up on all my live shows. I'll definitely be putting them up as much as I can throughout the show. Uh, that's for 99 cent. For $1.99, you get the same thing. Plus, you'll get discounts on merch when you order. Of course, if you're in good standing, just hit me up if you're looking for merch, and I'll give you a discount code so you can buy stuff on merch. And then, of course, my that's my $10 plan is all of that, plus uh, full-time access into the live stream to join into the live stream if you want to chat with me and come on my live and kick it with me. And that's unlimited access. You just tell me, I bring you in, and you can chat with me all day, all night when we're live. So you get that. But look, for 99 cent, that's $12 a year, right? $12 a year. You can help me support this channel, keep all this cool and fun stuff going, right? So you can come in, chat, chat with me, chat with Can Am, 
all types. What 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 live show do you know where you can actually where the the company comes on the show and helps out with the and gives you answers some of your questions? I mean, come on, it's twelve dollars a year, ninety nine cent a month, right? So that supports my channel, and I don't even get all of that. So I only get seventy cent of your dollar because YouTube takes the rest. So remember, YouTube don't pay me a lot of money to produce these shows. So I'm all this membership stuff and you buying stuff and t-shirts and all that stuff helps with the channel and helps me keep all this going. So Keon has I've been loving my ragging I'm gonna lie once I added the head isn't tuned it the thing is a ridiculous beast sling my headlights are the best on I have did the next to the wheel. Yo Trust me, man. He's absolutely right, man. I heard about the tuning. That's awesome. The headers, I don't know about the headers. I've been hearing mixed things of it. But definitely all that other stuff you got going on definitely turns the right into a beast, man. You are not lying, bro. You put that exhaust on there, it's a beast, man. And technically, I mean, I, I mean, a f- Besides the recalls, I haven't had a problem with the bike. And I know there's nightmare stories of people buy things and, oh, it's not this. I'm having these type of problems. I, I mean, it's sometimes, I guess. But me, I don't have no problems. I love this thing. And, you know, I'll be doing this probably. And all this stuff that I do on YouTube, I, I would do it anyway. Just, you know, I love the bike. Uh, Keon said, please join the channel. You can't go wrong, guys. Thank you, Brian. Appreciate that. Uh, Thank you for that. You know, I appreciate you supporting me. And uh, Brian, I did some work on his bike. So I got to do some more stuff on your bike, man. We got to set it up so you can come get your, your lock put on and all that cool stuff. Uh, Let's see. Uh. Keon said the headers, exhaust, and the tune. You see a possible for it. Yeah. And I'm also seeing now the Turbo Riker. The guy put it on YouTube, uh, the fastest Riker in the world. Uh, he actually got the front wheels up. He launched off the track and was able to get a small wheelie. I think he got it up about two inches off the ground. So he tuned it. It's got a turbo kit in it. So uh, he put it on YouTube. I can't remember the channel, but uh, there's something up there called the fastest strike in the world or something. So definitely. Yo, Ironside Custom Shop. Yo, thank you for joining you too. I mean, IG. Will. Will Dilio, thank you for joining IG. You know, we're live on YouTube right now. If you want to come into the con into the chat, you could always swing over to my YouTube live. Uh, Can Am is on the live. I don't know if they're still there. It might be kind of late. Might be Can Am's bedtime, but definitely uh, come over to the live and uh, hang out. Um, let's see. Let's. Oh, let me go back so I didn't miss nothing. The lights are really beautiful. Uh, Ryan J's brother started from scratch. He's full of love. Promotes everyone else's channel on here for free. Yeah, I mean, I guess. I mean, you know, there's there's room for everybody. I'm not going to just come on here. And and you know what? There's a lot of other YouTubers out there that don't like my videos or don't come in the comment section. I mean, it is what it is. I mean, I'm not here for that. You know, I'm I'm here. If you have hate or you don't like me or you don't like what I'm doing, nah, that, that's not really what the point, my purpose here. My purpose here is um, my purpose here is to uh, help you guys out and bring this whole Riker family in and tips and tricks so we could all talk and have a good time. You know, I'm not too worried about what other people do. Hey, if another YouTuber got a channel out there, he's doing good. Great. My girl Beth just hit 10,000 Riker rides. I mean, that's a wonderful thing. We've chat offline and I think that's beautiful and I'm going to donate something for her giveaway so she can have something from rolling on three to give away uh let's talk exhausts i want the sr brand the king is everyone have rikers out there well if you're talking exhaust mama mac then you have to go with 
uh, RLS because if you go with RLS, then you get a discount when you put in my code rolling. And uh, there's a link below. Order your exhaust from RLS. You get different types of sounds, different types of tunes. Those are handmade uh, in Texas. So uh, you're not going to get no stamped out Chinese. I'm not saying that Brandon King or any of these other people do. I'm just saying I've have RLS products. I've tested RLS products. I've spoken to RLS. I've watched him build mufflers and exhaust. And if I'm only going to be favoring RLS. So if you want an exhaust, definitely going to have to go through RLS if you want to go for me. But uh, let's help around. <laughs> Where y'all are, Brian James? Heather, please give this video a thumbs up. You saw that? It's a Turbo Riker, right, Heather? I saw that. It's Turbo Riker. I'm trying to get them on the show. Uh, Keon said, uh, Dane, that's definitely a Turbo Bill Ramsey channel. I've seen the video on tune my Riker. Yeah. Bill Ramsey has a tune. Uh he has a tune for the Riker that works. I see a lot of people are very happy with that. Uh, can am say he's still here. I got some time. Will said he, I don't like Keith. Well, be careful. Heather kick you off this channel. She's administrator. Heather will ban you from this. Uh, road tax makes a lot of turbos for seed and summer. I sure it'll be hard to get converted to Rikers. Here's the problem with a turbo on a Riker, though. It's uh, belt-driven. So if you put that much torque for a turbo and you're constantly putting turbo, remember, you got to change the belt uh, 12,000 miles. If you're going to put a turbo, you're going to eat up that belt real quick with a turbo. So I don't know you will want to do a turbo on an automatic like that. Chain-driven? Probably. I definitely would do a turbo, but... I don't know how much longer you're going to put the stress on that belt with a turbo on a right. I mean, they could probably upgrade the belt, but just you putting a turbo on it, you're going to eat that belt up. Let's see what we got here. Let me go through here. Oh, mama, that's what I meant, RLS. Oh, okay. Well, RLS... RLS makes, I think, four types or five types of exhaust for the Riker with different sounds. So I would definitely be looking into them. Uh, and it, they also have baffles because I know the one I have came with a baffle that you could insert or not insert if you want to tone down the sound a little bit. So I would definitely, um, I would definitely look into them. RLS does have a very big selection. All right. J and G five wheels. Thank you for checking in. Appreciate that. Drive safe, rod safe. Uh, Keon said running silver turbos ahead as canyon filter with dyno tune by two. That's a good setup. Definitely. Um, that's a good setup. K and N always the dyno tune. Definitely. Silver Turbos exhaust, don't know much about them, but hey. Uh, he actually will build you a custom tune. Okay, that's what's up. Uh, that's what's up. If you want to get that tune, definitely. Can and thank you for saying goodnight. Red Lips says spread the love. Snowmobiles have belts. That's true. Do they have belts or chain? Well, that's a different type of that's a different type of torque though on the snowmobile because you're gliding on um you're gliding, you're not rolling on the wheel. So it's a definitely a different type of power and setup you're doing. Because the snowmobile glides a lot more than it does have to strain to move itself. I don't know. I mean, you could be right. I'm just, um, 
Just throwing it out there. I mean the Spark Jet C. All right. Um, no need for Turbo Series to set up to impossible head, possibly series and peak about. All right, so the RLS says he's sold out. So I know what he's saying. RLS is sold out. He's not sold out. What it is is that he has so many orders coming in that he can't put out for new orders right away. But if you email RLS and tell him what you want, you're willing to wait, he'll put you in. The problem is he's so backed up. And you guys do understand that um, metal and steel – is backed up coming to the U.S. So a lot of manufacturers like RLS and them are waiting and they're waiting for all these shipments. And so once they get, you know, 20 or 30 built and they're sold, they got to wait for another shipment. And you know that shipments are sitting in the water forever. So I understand your pain. A while though. Yeah, we saw the Turbo Riker. We was just talking about that. Yes, and RLS should ramp up once he finishes his new workshop. Vernon Min checking in. Thank you for checking in. Appreciate that. Yeah, Waldo, we saw that Turbo Rika, 11 seconds. That thing came off the ground. Like, yeah, the tranny needs to upgrade. Yeah, before you do a turbo. Oh, there you go. I got RLS, my man, right there. Checking in. Here you go. Who was just in there? Mama Mac? Hey, Ricky, Mama Mac says she just went to your website. Here you go. I got you right in there, Mama Mac. Here, what a wonderful show this is. Not only was Can, is Can-Am here answering questions, you had a question about going with RLS? And RLS is in here. Where are you going to find this type of show? Your question has been answered instantly. Shout out to Ricky. RLS exhaust for your Riker. The way to go. And don't forget my discount code if you order one. Please. Please. See, Mama Mac, thank you. So shoot, hit up RLS, Mama Mac. He got you. He's going to put you on the waiting list and you gone. And you're good. There you go. RLS, 10% off. We're getting on the waiting list. There you go. Can't go wrong. Tell them rolling on three sent you. You can't go wrong. Anybody looking for an exhaust out there? That's the way to go. Can am. I'm running with RLS exhaust. It uh definitely uh is the way to go on the bike. You know, loud pipes stay save lives. I'm from New York, so that's what's up. Heather with the donation. Clap it in for Heather. Everybody clap it in once again. Heather with the donation. Running the channel and donating. Heather doing her thing. Always. Always. Oh, okay. Shout out. Everybody clap in, Heather, please. Please. Please do that for me. Mama Max said, just got a grill protector from RLS. That's what's up. Yeah, I gave one away. And uh, RLS donated one to give away for my contest. So, yeah, shout out to RLS. And uh, he's got the um, cold air intakes coming out. Definitely got to um, definitely gotta get that. He's got the cold air intakes coming. That's going to be what's up. And I'm going to talk to Ricky about, you know, you got to paint them custom to the color. Of the person's bike. That's what's gonna be uh that's what's gonna be uh the new wave. Like the open road, there is room. That's what's up, Can Am. You are a hundred percent right. You got you are a hundred percent right. Hey, Ricky says I'm gonna make those cold air intakes very affordable. That's what's up, Ricky. Not only is he gonna have them cold air intakes, but you know, me and Ricky going to talk. We're going to make them custom colors. Maybe you'll get a rolling edition. Maybe a special rolling on three air intake custom edition, man. You got to get something fly like that. So you can get that collaboration because, you know, collabs 
RLS rolling on three cold day intake. That sounds hot. And he said they're going to be very affordable. What we got here? KM said there's room for everyone, 100%. Uh, Celsio, uh, you want to hit Ricky up? Send him, so, uh, email him. Oh, you don't see Ricky because Ricky's on Facebook. RLS is talking to us through Facebook. He's not on YouTube. That's why you don't see him. So he came in through Facebook. He's not on the YouTube live. That's why. So you see, my my this broadcast on Facebook and YouTube Live. And, you know, I do an IG separate. So that's why you don't see certain people. But if they're on Facebook, they're allowed to come into the comment section. So I just bring that comments up. Uh, Brian James says, I'm a man, so you know I don't make the decision on my own. It's a team thing. So here's where I say good night. Hey, thank you, Brian, man. Appreciate that. 100%. 100%. Tell your family and everybody good night. Heather was like, I'm missing a whole human. Yeah. Sorry about that. Brian's out. Appreciate that. Appreciate the check in. I got to get some more people in there. I definitely got to get some more people uh, up on. Oh, I got a few more people to add to the board here. Uh, What's it? I can't do it this way, this way, this way, this way. All right, so yeah, so right there, up on the chart boys, the channel members, I'm going to add some more people in there and bring it down a little further so you guys can see, uh, you guys can see, oh, I got them, RLS checked in on YouTube, uh, Ironside checked in, what's up Ironside, appreciate that, thank you for checking in, RLS is now on YouTube. Everybody say what's up to Rick. Say what's up to Ricky and RLS. Hey, Ricky, man, uh, type in what you got going on, man. Let the people see it up in the comments. And welcome Ironside Motorsports, of course, too. Everybody clap them in for joining the joining the live. And uh, Ricky, yeah, just uh, type in what you got going on. Give them a list of what they could get from you if people are looking. So... This could be on the comment section for them to read later. Everybody knows I'm a RLS ambassador for Ricky and RLS Exhaust. So if you want to contact me about something, things, I'll definitely reach out to Ricky for you if you can't. But, um, oh, look. Somebody got the Crusher Series installed today. Thanks, RLS. Vernon Mims. That's what's up. Definitely. Yo. So, yeah, RLS is in the house. Ironside Customs in the house. Definitely hit me up. Man, Ricky's got the, he's got the, he's got what you need, man. I'm rocking that Carbon Series, and I love it. Not only do I love the sound, I like the way it looks on the bike, man. It just sits so perfectly where I'm at. Where it's like, it fits. It just fits, man. And it's just like. I don't want to do too much to the Shadow Black Riker. So I like I'm a minimalist to an extent, but definitely definitely like to hook it up, but I don't want to go crazy. And let me tell you, man, that carbon series just pokes out just enough and gives me just enough sound to create the whole look. Like when people see it, they be like, Yeah, you definitely upgraded that exhaust. That's definitely what's up. Need me last, but not at least an intake. Yep. The intake, I mean, it's the way to go, man. A lot of people are doing it. A lot of people are pleased with putting on the intakes. I mean, that's that's definitely what's up. Also, if you're talking about performance-wise, you could definitely get the uh, high-performance springs in either red or black. Just hit me up. Uh, I know Ricky has it on his Can Am now. Uh, these are German engineered. This is not a. It's not a. 
a Chinese product. I actually, if you want, I give you the engineering paperwork directly from Germany. If you want to know the load rate, the compression rate, the well, what type of steel was used. So definitely, if y'all are in the, uh, into upgrades and high performance upgrades, I use these because New York City streets are rough. And it takes on a lot of abuse. So I upgraded my springs. And let me tell you, man, it's a night and day, night and day situation. So any of you guys are interested in anything like that, you know, you could definitely hit me up and we could talk about it. They're easy to put on. I mean, uh, less than an hour. I put these springs on and you just replace the old springs. You need a spring compression tool. You can either rent one or you're going to get one from uh, Amazon and put these on one, two, three. And trust me, you'll feel the difference. The stiffness much better on the absorption of bumps. Like can't go wrong. So if you're definitely into upgrades, like performance wise, this is definitely the way to go without a doubt. And what else we have here? Let me see if I can bring this up for you guys. Just give me a second. Bring in section. I think I got to slow down somewhere. Let me see if I got that slow down somewhere. Let me refresh you guys. I think I got a, I think I froze somewhere. I got to check it out. Am I frozen? Because I got nothing moving on my comment section. I hope I didn't freeze on you guys. The last thing I got is Red Lips Vega. Don't forget to hit me up for the book so I know. Oh, okay. The chat stopped. Oh, okay. All right, cool. I thought that, I thought the whole thing froze up on me. I was going to say, man. All right, RLS, hit us up. There you go right there. I'm going to leave that up for RLS so you guys could um, so you guys could read it, what RLS got going on. I'll just leave that up for you guys. And you could definitely um if you're all interested in that, there you go. This is directly from RLS. All of you thinking of getting an exhaust or anything like that, just uh, here you go. Exhaust available is the Assassin series. Um, the Assassin series, Twin Chaos. The Predator Stealth Control Carbon series. Get it on the waiting list. If y'all interested in the carbon series and what it sounds like, you can go to one of my YouTube videos and definitely um, you go to one of my YouTube videos where I installed the carbon and definitely hook that up. Give me one second. I got to pick something up. Sorry, I dropped my paper, my notes. Okay. Um Okay, what we got here? Uh, RLS says he likes the springs. They soak up more bumps. They absolutely do. I put those springs, RLS, to the test on the New York streets. I went to one of the worst streets I could find in Brooklyn. And I tell you, it, I could tell you the difference was crazy. I wish I could have left one on and not the other. But let me tell you um, the way to go. Let's see what we have here. RLS. Which is best for quieter sound? I have tonight, but I still want to be able to hit a bike louder than, uh, louder than it is. So RLS is responding to you, Heather. Control chaos is the quietest. It might be still a little bit loud. Can there's is there a baffle for that? Uh, control chaos. But that's his quietest one. Uh, Mama Mac is sending you an email, RLS.
definitely. And let me bring this back up because this is what RLS said he got going on right now. Oh, uh, listen, uh, Heather, the foam earplugs is what I'm rolling with. And uh, that big bag you get from Walmart. And it definitely makes a difference. And you can still hear your surroundings. But it'll definitely help you with that tinnitus. I'm telling you, I wear them. Uh, I've always worn earplugs anyway because I've always upgraded my exhaust on all my bikes. And I always found earplugs was the way to go because and you can use headphones now. This is before that. But you could put headphones in and listen to music. That'll help you. But uh, I definitely go with earplugs regardless, you know, and I love loud pipes. So I take loud pipes over music any day. So definitely you want to go with that. I would. Yeah, I, I I bought them in a pharmacy. Uh, I bought mine from a pharmacy. It's uh, just those foam earplugs. They're like an orange or yellow. They're like disposable. You can buy a bag of them. Thing. Amazon, you could buy like a bag of those things of like a hundred. You know, you get one or two uses out of it and toss it away. And uh, definitely helps. I do it on all my ride outs and it definitely helps when you're on big ride outs too with all those bikes riding around. So definitely. You see, it depends on how loud your music. I just don't like, I don't know. I'm just, I don't, I don't trade music for loud pipes. Like if I had to choose a loud sound system, Brian, or a loud muffler, I would always choose the loud exhaust. I just don't, I just don't, um, I'd rather have the loud exhaust for me than music. I'm good. I mean, I'll listen to music. Oh, excuse me. I need some coffee. Yeah, you squeeze them into your ears. You roll them up like little, uh, you roll them up like little pieces of tissue and they get real small. You put them in your ear and then they expand. And they cup right into your ear. Let me tell you, you'll love it. You'll love it. I mean, they're even good to sleep. Oh, Redneck Riker. 16 hours day. Woo! Thank you for checking in. I know it's late, but uh, everybody shout out. Redneck Riker came in and check it out. We was in here talking about... Um, we were talking about uh, just a little accident, and we heard Can Am come in, Redneck Riker, and um, we had Can Am come in. What we had going on? Oh, we went into this whole big spiel about pizza, and it got out of control, and then we had to go back into uh, talking about bikes and talking about the twenty twenty ones. They had a nice little show, but uh, oh, if Redneck Riker, if you missed, there's a contest coming up. I'm working on, it's going to be, I might as well bring it up again, talk about it real quick. Let me bring it up. So right here, we're going to do a little contest. So all of you who are just joined in the chat now, what I'm going to do is I'm running a contest where I'm going to pick a winner. And the winner is going to be able to come online in this chat with me and two other YouTubers that are, uh, push out Riker content and we're going to talk all night and you'll be able to answer people's questions. We'll answer your questions. We'll just talk and you're going to get merch from me and from the other two YouTubers if you win. So definitely uh, stay tuned for that. I'm going to figure out how I'm going to do the contest. And of course, I'm also going to do something for my channel members or for all my supporters. I'm going to run a separate contest for you guys and that's going to be something separate. But this one I'm going to run for everybody. So just make sure you subscribe, like, and follow so you could definitely get in there. Oh, can ams here on. can am staying up late, throwing up the peace sign. Oh, that means you're leaving. Peace means you're out. If peace means you're out, thank you for can am for checking in one more time. Thank you for supporting my live shows and... Uh, um, yeah, make sure you give me a thumbs up, Can Am. You know, I appreciate that. Can Am does follow my YouTube channel. That's what's pretty cool. And um, if you guys don't know already, then we talked about it before. I'm gonna do a professional video for Can Am for their website. 
uh, that's going to be pretty cool. Uh, they, they put me, uh, they put me in, uh, they want me to film a, a video for, to help out new writers with some information. So they sent me a script and a production kit. So I'm going to film a, or I'm have my production team film me doing a nice little show for you guys and things like that. Let's see what we got going on. Redneck Riker. Yeah, man, you're probably going to hit the sack, bro. It's been 16 hours. It's time for you to hit the sack, man. That's a long day, but I appreciate you for checking in. Uh, ask him does she showcase the 2022 models. Well, we're talking about that right now, uh, Waldo. The Can Am's closed. Well, Canada's closed, not Can Am. So I definitely want to get over there. <laughs> I definitely want to get over there. But when the 22 two models hit, I'm definitely going to try to get on one. We're going to film at a bodega making chopped cheese, talking rikers. Hey, you know what? That's a good show, Can Am. If you want to do that, let me know because you do know. Um, I have my production team is my sister-in-law and she uh, does the production for the show Hot Ones uh, where they eat the hot chicken wings. I'm quite sure if you saw that show. Well, my sister-in-law is on that production team. So if you guys want to do some cool New York videos of the Riker or the Spider or whatever Can-Am on-road vehicle you want, I could hit up the bodegas and the pizzerias and, and, you know, all those old school Brooklyn spots. And I could do some shows for you guys, you know, just, you know, a Riker in Brooklyn. You know, if y'all want to do a series, hit me up. I, I'm I'm open for all the cool stuff, can in You know, let me know. <laughs> Good night, Mama Mac. Good night. Appreciate you checking in. Thank you, Mama Mac. Hey, don't forget to hit up RLS so he can hook you up, all right? I know it's, it's getting kind of late. You know, I know it's it's getting kind of late for you guys. It's like two and a half hours. I gave away one book already, so definitely, um, definitely been a fun show. Appreciate that. I'm glad you guys all checked in. Can Am's out. Thank you. Yeah, Can Am's out. Thanks, Can Am. Appreciate you guys checking in and once again and showing some love and this and that. I'm gonna probably wrap up the show myself. Uh, you know, shout out to my girl Heather for helping me as the administrator in the chat. Appreciate that. Listen, I'm gonna check it. I'm gonna I'm gonna wrap up the show real quick. Uh, don't forget if you guys um, really like the show and you really want to support me, uh, please. There's merchandise you could purchase that helps me toward the channel. There's super chat. There's the channel donation. There's all types of cool stuff to help me keep this channel running. You know, it doesn't, you know. It doesn't, what can I say? YouTube don't pay the, all the bills. I mean, they do give you a little bit of something for running, but, I, you know, I don't get 100,000 views. You know, it's small. I might get 500. I might get 1,000. Some videos might get 3,000. It doesn't matter. I don't understand how it works either. But, you know, you, you don't really make much money. So the little bit of help that you guys give me when you support me, you know, the likes, the subscribes, the donations, the merchandise, all that cool stuff. Uh, that really helps me out a lot. So I would appreciate you guys if you continue your efforts in doing that, spreading the love. I'm trying to bring you some cool stuff. Look, tonight I brought you Can Am, I brought you RLS, some cool people in there. Ironside Motorsports came in, some cool companies came in, cool people came in. Cool people donated, cool people the channel. That's what's cool too. The channel membership helps a lot. So it's 99 cents. So it's only $12 a year. You know what I'm saying? It's not like you force, you can cancel it anytime. So 99 cents makes you a channel member. 
then I put you up on the board and you'll be a channel member. Bow, you get your name on the channel, pops up like this. Some cool stuff, you know, as time goes on. RLS just threw something up right now. Mention rolling on three and get an extra 5% from me. And I'll give you 15% off only for rolling on three listeners. Look. Blow my mind. Boom. Boom. That's it. 15% off right now. Look at that. A special right now. Who? Where are you going to get that? What person is doing that for you right now? Right now. Come on. You can't go wrong right now. 18 people on the chat. Mention rolling on three. Extra five for me. And I'll give you 15% off altogether. All today, you're going to get 15% off. What? You can't go wrong. You can't go wrong. So if you need an exhaust right now, go to the best. RLS. For your Riker, RLS is the best. Uh, look, I just made a rhyme out of it. I mean, you can't go wrong. Man, Ricky right there is making, if you ever watch his videos on YouTube, you got to follow him, right? This guy's showing you how he's making his exhaust. He's showing you. He's showing you the labor-intensive work it is. Not no stamped out, riveted, drilled together. He's showing you the welds. He's showing you a quality product. And now he's on here. What other show is bringing you Can-Am and other companies? What show? Right? So that's why I say the little bit that you guys contribute and help with the show makes a big deal, right? It makes a big deal for me. So, you know, like I said, when you guys support and do things like that, like my man right here, clap it, clap it up for the real McCoy for the $5 super sticker. Clap it up. Clap it up. That's what's up. See, that's what I'm talking about. See, that that type of stuff right there is what helps me, keeps the channel going. So I can make all these, like, these cool t-shirts and these designs. Those are applications I got to pay for to, to run, you know, to get these designs cleared so I'm not copying no one else's design and things like that. So, you know, this is the stuff. All these pop-ups and these avatars these are programs you know you can use the free stuff but the free stuff is not as good as the high quality stuff you know high quality cameras all that cool stuff and when you create a quality show you get quality people that come on the show right like your man rls exhaust right now giving you 15 percent off if you order like come on it's a quality show why not support it where else are you going to get this you know, and when you have great people like the real McCoy on three who donates, that goes to show you he, he understands the love. He understands the love. He understands what it takes to put out a channel like this. So I really appreciate it. And all you guys that hit the thumbs up and the like button and the subscribe button, you don't know, know that helps with my algorithms so much. You know what I'm saying? So much. And I'm going to keep putting up this RLS 15% off for all you guys to see. And this way, even after the show, all the people who are re-watching, you'll get to see that RLS is doing it for the cause. So definitely another thing you want to get into, if you want to look to upgrade your bike, your Riker, there you go. Everybody talks about they don't like the way the exhaust sounds. <laughs> Here you go. This is your chance to do an upgrade, right? Brand ambassador for RLS. I'm telling you, it's a good product. I never would push a product out there that I don't believe in or really uh, or truly, truly accept. And trust me, other companies do reach out to me to push their products and the things they have going on. And if I don't believe or work with the company and I don't believe it, I don't put it out. So... I rep RLS because I believe in what he's doing. He's a hardworking man. We've had numerous conversations behind the scene. He's gave me some great advice. So I know it's a quality product. So definitely support RLS. 
He's definitely making moves. The man's actually building his own factory. He's building his own factory to make more exhaust for you guys so he could push out more and more product for you guys. So definitely respect that. You know what I'm saying? Let me go on to... Uh, go on see what i got going on here so i don't know if my chat keeps freezing or is it is my chat freezing up on you guys i don't know if my live chat no i guess not i don't think it's frozen so listen you guys uh we've been on this show for almost two hours <laughs> Hey, man, look at this, man. Look at Ricky, man. Clap it up for RLS, man. Clap it up for RLS with the super sticker, man. Look at that. He supporting me 100%. Look at him just just throwing his, his love and support to the channel like that. Knows how hard it is to produce a channel. My man, Art Ricky, put putting his YouTube videos out there. And I know on Instagram, you always see me posting something new from RLS. So Ricky understands uh, how hard it is to put on a show and what it takes. And here he is donating. Clap it up for RLS. Good guy. You see what I'm talking about? When you surround yourself with good people, good things happen. You know what I'm saying? Just, just surround yourself with good people. He donated his time. 20 bucks, 19.99, 20 bucks, and he's giving a discount. So look at that. He's giving back to the community heavy. Look at that. He gives me 20 bucks and he's giving you 15% off. So, I mean, come on. How would you not roll with a company like that? You know, it just makes it just makes sense. Right? It just makes sense. That's how you know you're dealing with a reputable businessman, a reputable company who's reaching out like that. So you can't go wrong, right? I mean, it's a beautiful thing. Like I said, when you surround yourself with beauty, like I do this for the love of can and I do this for the love of the community, putting on the podcast. I don't know what anybody thinks about uploading podcasts or producing podcasts, but it's not, uh, it's fun, but it's work, right? So I do the podcast. The YouTube, the videos, you know, all that cool stuff. I work on bikes. You see guys come here and they bring me their bikes to get worked on. So I do this for the love of the community. I give back to you guys so I can give you guys cool stuff like this, like RLS giving you 15% off and all this fly stuff right here. So I'm going to stay on. I'm going to tell you, I'm going to dead this show at, at, uh, at 11 o'clock. So at 11 o'clock, I'm going to shut down because we've been on here for three hours. Um, this way, uh, you know, I give everybody a chance to uh, say what they got to say. I don't want to cut nobody off. RLS said, I made a mistake. He said, he's not, it's not a factory. It's just a bigger shop. Well, you know what, Ricky? It's your factory. No matter how big it is, it might be a shop, but it's your factory, right? So it might be small, but you're thinking big, my brother. That's what's up. It might be small, but you're thinking big. That's how it works, right? So we got a new member in the house. That's what's up. Ironside Motorsports. Ironside Motorsports. That's what's up. New channel member. Everybody clapping Ironside. Just give Ironside uh, Motorsports a clap it up. Everybody clap it up for him, for, for them becoming channel members. Appreciate them supporting the channel. That's what's up. That's a lot of love right there. I got to put them up on the board. Y'all going to be filling up the board, but, you know, clap up Ironside Motorsports. Definitely new member. Oh, okay, Heather just gave RLS a thumbs up on his video. That's what's up. Appreciate that. And Ironside Motorsports for joining. RLS is out. Good night, RLS. Appreciate that. Thank you for checking in. Remember, RLS is giving you 15% off. 
So hit them up in the email if you want that exhaust. That's what's up. Where else are you going to get that 15% off? That's what's up. Thank you, Redneck Riker. I appreciate it. John Car- Cherokee, I appreciate that. That's what's up. 100%. Yeah, I'm going to have to figure out something with these members on my screen. Yeah, I'm going to fill up the boxes too big. You know, you're right. I might have to get something that scrolls so I could just have the members just keep rolling and rolling. That's a good idea. Uh, I got a program, you know, that I pay for and it helps me do things like this. But I might have to get something that scrolls, you know, I'm not sure. Or maybe I'll just do a few at a time and then just rotate it like that you know one board then the next board and the next board like that maybe just have images flashing i see what you're saying though it's a great idea heather i'm a, we'll work on that this week you know i'm gonna work on that this week since i had so many people join and show so much love you know i appreciate that but uh yeah i definitely have to do something with the channel memberships there I'll figure it out, though. I'm going to definitely, definitely, because I want it to be displayed a lot nicer. I mean, I like this, but I want to be able for you guys, when you're even on your phone, you'll be able to see your name up there. Maybe I could do different colors or the chalkboard or have it. I don't know. I'll figure something out. You know, I'll get, I'll figure something out real nice for you guys. So, you know, to show my love and appreciation to, uh, all these people who help support me and keep my channel growing. That's what's up. That's definitely what's up. And, you know, I just want to throw some things up real quick. Uh, since we're ending the show pretty soon. <laughs> AJ, oh my God. <laughs> that's right. I can just cover my face, right? I just duck behind it and that's it. You won't ever have to see me. It'll just be your names there. It'll just be talking. We can do this. That's what's up. No. Heather said, uh, Dan, I just figured out that discount on RLS. <laughs> Don't worry. You got it. Don't worry about it. RLS is cool. It'll hook you up. And uh, let me do this real quick. And let's throw some things up there. So, boom. Um, So, I got a contest coming up. Uh, I'm going to be working it out real soon. I'll probably talk about it on my next live, uh, how to get in the contest. And it's going to be you, me, and two other YouTubers, plus some merch if you win. And you're going to come on the live chat and chat with us all night and hang out. So I'm going to do something for everybody, and I'm definitely going to do one just for my channel supporters. So that's going to be something uh, to watch out for. But first, I'm going to do a big one, and then I'm going to do one just for my channel supporters. So um, just watch out for that, okay? And let me remove that, and let's go back into some other things I got going on. And boom, 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 boom. Okay, and I got this going on. So book bag and T-shirts available on Amazon, Etsy. All the links are below. So if you guys are looking for that Riker merch, I got book bags, minimalist book bags from when you ride them. I got T-shirts, all types of phrases and sayings. All types of cool stuff you can get on your T-shirt. I got an Etsy store. I got an Amazon store. So if you don't have, you don't like one design, you go to the other and check out the designs I got there. You'll definitely find something you like. I definitely got, uh, let's see what else I got for you guys. In case, if you want to support and show some love. Uh, So here we go. We got these designs here. I got some stuff here currently on Riker mode. Uh, I see somebody already bought the Riker owner vintage from 2019. Think about 2019 is vintage now with a Riker. Got your Riker doctor, got for the love of threes, your Riker pit crew, and the Riker over all others, your scooter, your motorcycle, and, and you got the Riker with the check. That's what's up. Definitely. 
And if you want to go to Etsy, I got the book bag. I got the Riker road trip. I got your Riker Halloween right there. I don't know if you look closely. Let me see if I can bring it up close for you guys. So look, right there, there's your Riker inside the Halloween. You can't go wrong right there. That's pretty cool. And I got them in different colors. But it looks better in black and blue. But that's what's up right there. So definitely check out the stuff I got on Etsy. I got the female can't women on road. I got the it's called the Riker. I got the Eat My Riker. I got the three is better than two for the love of threes. And the top selling one is rated Riker. Rod and under. 80 miles per hour requires an adult or guardian, right? So don't forget that cool stuff there. And pretty much, oh, uh, John Cherokee, clap him up for the $5 donation, keeping the channel alive. Everybody clap it up for John Cherokee, channel supporter. Appreciate that. That's what's up. Keeping the channel alive. That is all love, and I appreciate that 100%. So uh, definitely, definitely thank everybody for checking in. Thank you. Oh, Redneck says, oh, I got to figure out how to buy Super Sugar. Keep telling me you can't send message. Well, I, I think you got to set it up through your Google account or something like that. You got to because when you click it, it, it takes the money from you. You got to have something on file with Google. But I'm quite sure there's a way you could um, uh, Google it to find out how to do it. No problems. Redneck Riker, I appreciate you jumping in, showing me love. You know, that's not a problem. It's not mandatory to donate. But, you know, when you get a chance, if you can, you can. If you can't, thumbs up and a like will always be just as good as everything else. So listen, everybody. Hey, if John, if you, I mean, Redneck, if you can't do that, you can always purchase. Uh, you can always purchase something from the store and I'll get the uh, portion of anything you buy. Of course, uh comes back to me you know so if you want to do it that way you want to buy a shirt a t-shirt and then you know i always will repost you and talk about that so listen um yeah heather said she'll give you a chance help if you want to do it you hit her up on ig shout out to heather little goat always checking in on the show let's say our good nights everybody uh good night thank you heather once again for administrating my chat you know, um, always in the chat, always helping out. That's the real OG right there holding me down. Appreciate that. Heather, 100%. Clap it up for Heather. Always doing the right thing, holding me down in IG and on the YouTube. Shout out to everybody who, um, shout out to everybody who became channel members. Shout out to the people who are channel members. That's 100% for supporting the brand and been supporters for a long time. Them OGs like that. Shout out to RLS coming in. <coughs> Excuse me for the check-in. It's hard to talk for three hours. I'm sorry. Um, that's right. Ride safe, everybody. Good night, Riker family. Good night, everybody who checking in. Ride safe. Hey, and if you guys ain't get any um anything you want me to talk about or any comments or any video clips you want to display and, and kick it with, just email me, rolling on three wheels at gmail.com. My information is in the link below, and we'll talk about it. If y'all want a show, an interesting show, I'll definitely shout y'all out, of course, if you have a lot to do with it. Um, yo, that's it, man. Just ride safe. It's getting cold out there out here in New York, so I don't know how much more riding I'm going to be doing, but I'm definitely going to get some videos out for you. Uh, anybody's interested also being on a podcast, um, I got like 40 episodes in. I'm probably going to start another season of the podcast. So definitely, if you're interested, also email me. You can contact me. Yo, thanks, everybody, for checking in. Appreciate it. Thanks for the winners. Um, 
Um, I think that's it. Uh, yeah, I said good night to everybody. All right, peace, everybody. Ride safe. I'm out.